Well, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Full Contact Derby TV. This is the last Full Contact Derby TV production of the year. Um, we'll work on next year here in the next month. We'll start on that. But again, thank you for joining us this year. It's been a pl pleasure to be out in front of you and to help out with with derbies throughout all over the place. You know, we've been scattered around the country. Thank you. And it wouldn't have been made possible. And the only way we were able to do this is because of the sponsorship of Gladiators of Steel, which to give you a heads up, we will announce the launch date and when you will be able to watch it, the weekend of Blizzard Bash. Wow. Figured that was a big weekend, so that was a good week to announce the the launching and joining yeah, today so. will how are you great amazing flight in was great day today was great you actually had a good flight the flight was good it was delayed <laughs> now I, I will tell you mccook it was delayed uh they had an airplane they just didn't have any pilots with hours to where they could fly so well but we've got what, how many cars we got like 125 cars 125 ish cars and it's looking like we have 19 or 20 in the youth wire class we're looking at the same thing, 19 or 20 in the minis class. We're having somewhere in the ballpark. Lights were eight, 10, 12. 12. Yeah. 10 in the farm trucks, 80s wire. It's looking like we're having 14. We have 10 heats tonight, so this is going to be a... Yeah, it's a record. All these, there's two heats of each, like 80s wire B, same thing. There's looks to be 14 or 15. We got the mediums, which would be more of your limited weld build, no kickers, no tranny protectors, no full cradles. Uh, now, obviously, if you guys see something out there that might have something that it shouldn't have, we felt that the car was rough enough that it there's no way it could bump up a class and run with the heavy. And, and this is really a no rule show. We just try to line up cars that best fit that heat. Yeah. There's going to be a little bit of disparity between some of the builds, but that's why this show is so popular, why it sells out weeks before the show. Yeah, it's crazy. If you look around the arena, you're seeing it filled up. It is going to be full. Oh, people are just just raking in. There, it'll be standing room only by and, the time this is done. And this arena is fabulous at night with all the flashing lights. It is totally cool. Yeah. So you guys are in for a treat. It's going to be a party. They're all good. Like every class has some really amazing cars. They may not all. You know, a lot of guys literally threw their stuff together. They just want a derby. They didn't care, so they threw their stuff together. And then you have your, your normal guys that are just super, super into it and they're not afraid to break out a welder. And, and, and a lot of them, honestly, are trying to finish off their cars yeah. so they don't have to, you know, they can get the motors out of them and start next year's builds. Yep. And there's there's a, several cars out here that are being driven by not their owners because their owners are busy right now and they just want their cars Well, the gone. deer hunt's going yeah. on right now. Yeah. So TJ McPhee's car's out here and he's out hunting. So. Yeah, they don't care. They just want it ran. So we have got 20 something, how many car wire, youth we're right wire? At, we're right at 20, it looks like. So we got 20 cars going in heat. What a heat way to start heat one. And we do have cars from like seven states again. So we are, we've been actually finishing off really strong with a lot of states involved in these shows. Yeah, you know what? It's looking like a lot of Wyoming and Utah cars in this youth heat. Yep, I youth mean, heat is. Pretty much dominant, you know. Can't thank Wyoming for all the support that they bring us year after year after year. Yep. And they come out here with a smile on their face, willing to cut whatever needs to be cut and ready to rock and roll. It is great. And the little rivalries that are going between them on the Facebook, they're oh, yeah. and talking back and forth. And, you know, the the Utah guys, a lot of them are LDS or Mormons, and they, but they got long hair. So the Wyoming guys nicknamed them the Mormon Mullet Posse. <laughs> right? So it's pretty cool. Now, the wire class is a little bit different out here than it is back home, and I think we're going to go back the same way. Everything must appear stock. So if you know what you're doing a little bit, you can get that little bit of an advantage. But Advantage? It, I don't, wouldn't say it's necessarily an advantage, <laughs> other than for your own emotions and adrenaline rush. Oh, yeah. But as far as you, you don't want a 350-horse motor in this class. You don't need the it. The cars will not handle it. You need that wore-out 185-horsepower small block When they Chevy. fire up, it puffs a little smoke. Yeah. You're like, this is good. And the more it runs, the more it smokes. 
Well, like I said, this is also the grand finale of the point system for Stern Dirt Racing tonight. There's a few drivers that pretty much the top four positions are, that's about the only people that are left. They're, they're all here tonight. Yeah, every one of them's here tonight. A couple of them are trying to protect their, their positions. Um, they can't get up to the top. Anthony Tripler can almost, I don't know if he can get beat. He can get tied possibly. Yep. With if, under, if we're, we're going to let it out there, this, if the second place guy wins, gets mad, dog, in the same heat, he will tie first place. Second place is pretty much locked in other than tying first. The big fight here is third place. If, you know, Bronson Twitchell has a bad night and Scott Kuzmo has a great night, that could change that up. It's going to have the luck of the draw. And Scott didn't even know about this really a lot until a couple, about a month ago. And he's like, man, what have I been doing all summer? Because he had been playing. But the money is pretty darn good. We give out top three points towards first place in the points in this show. Get $6,000, not for tonight's show, but for the points. Second is 3000 Third is 1500 There is also a lot of money or parts and prizes. We've got trade engines, transmissions. Yep. So much being given away. So and the only... Even if you come in and you do all these points, you, there's still certain requirements that you have to do. Oh, yeah. That's why Larry's out here right now. He had to run two Stern Dirt, Dirt shows. But he, and he ran one that was part of their affiliated point series. Yes. And I think once you get into the points and you actually finish requirements, that's what kicks you into the I think we're, trade motor, correct? Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at this. We're ready to go. The last grand finale of the year. Here we go. Yeah. Hopefully all the drivers stay safe and it's just a good hard hit show. Oh, there's oh, some. Oh, hit. oh, 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 oh. Light oh. Them up. We got air cleaners falling off in the very first hit of the show. Love it. It's like, wow. There's some truck. They are not afraid to drive these cars. And the nice thing is 03 and newers are loud, so you can actually make a pretty wicked little wire class car. You know, what's been interesting about how our rules are set up with Stern Dirt and a lot of the Utah shows, it's not just TNT and Heber and all those, is every car's got a disadvantage with axles or something. So it's right. like, what would you run? What would you run, Larry, or Will? Personally, I would think I would probably branch out and try the 03 and newers. And if not, I think it would Whoa. be 77 or 78 at Palace. Beautiful hit by Guns. Ru Guns Burns. She is a driver. And she laid it down on Colton, who won the youth class at Wire Madness. Yes, he did. That car. You know, it's a lot different. You, if you're in the crowd, it's a lot quieter because we do not allow headers on cars in our class. Yes, and, so. that's, and that's the reason why this class doesn't allow headers. So you can actually hear these cars crumple. Nice hitting. That's, and that's Burns again. Yep. She is, she is she's, after the money. Yeah, she's a driver. Now, just to let you know, in each of these hits, heats tonight, there is 10 heats. From what I understand, the top, there are two Mad Dog winners in each heat, yep. each getting $1,000. That's a 1000 And then if you win, you get $1,000. Second is 500 Third is 250 But, I, you know, Halloween Havoc has always been that pin it to win it, you know, see if you can burn your toes on the radiator. And I see they got the 307 car out. He, he is not afraid to lay it down. You know, Roxy took out uh, 333 and then all of a sudden she's over there trying to break him free because he's stuck, which is really cool. It's good sportsmanship. Yep. hasn't really slowed down yet there's you know a lot of these and it's teaching these kids a lot to do with mechanics they have to figure out the electronics i know their parents helped them work on it and stuff like that oh oh that was a monster beautiful hit. shot oh followed by another monster hit you know hunter johnson out of saratoga wyoming and he is not afraid to lay it down every time he comes out here he does the best. He's in he the pumpkin. The, yeah. the, 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 He's in the pumpkin car. He's in the pumpkin car. The, the great pumpkin. Trying to do the best he can. And then you get in a situation like this where 
There's four or five cars tied up over here, three cars tied up over there. There's just not yep. much anybody can do. But Roxy just, she's not necessarily out for the win at all. She's constantly trying to knock people off. All right, the they're stopping. There's... All right, stop. Everybody's get, get everybody's attention. All right. We got, oh, what is? Are we checking on somebody? Or? Is that a blown head gasket in the pumpkin? I think he is running with no radiator, and I think he must have blew that top, so that's just blowing the steam off. Hey, Jake, what are you shaking your head for? You got some mosquitoes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are in the mosquito attack, and I am sort of glad I got long sleeve shirts going on here. I just wish I had those where you have a whole thumb hole. Right. What's up, Bearded Batman? I see your comment. If you were here, you could be filling up this middle spot for us. Maybe radiating some heat, keeping us warm. The Bearded Batman. We're going to miss you the show because you put on a show a couple weeks ago yep. at the State Fair. Looks like there are still three or four Wyoming cars left and one Twilla. Oh, good shot. Well, Hunter Johnson, they, like I was saying, they, they build good stuff and they're out there letting it eat. You know, just like Roxy, they let it eat. The guys come out of Wyoming, they come prepared every time. Yes, they do. And they put the best show on they possibly can. You know, they come from derby families, yep. so they, they know how to get the cars running, what's important to do on these cars. So. You know, you got 71X at Brody Million. He's out of Wyoming also. Yep. He takes a little bit different pace to it. He's more going to be more of a strategic driver. He's got to be the kid of Marty. Yeah, that would be, <laughs> that would be Marty's kid, I'm pretty sure. He doesn't drive like his papa then. No. <laughs> Pop a million is a little crazy. Yeah, you know, I, I think he would. I think there's going to be times, but he also, you know, he's probably chasing that first win. If, yeah, I don't know if he's won or not before, but everybody, right. everybody loves that feeling. And his cars, they hold up very well. Braxton, car number 77 in the middle. That's Braxton Anderson. He is a driver. He's won a couple of these youth already. Yeah, so far everything's going good. I think this 82, this wagon's McKill Raleigh. We have another orange. We have another red flag. Michaela? I think it's, well, it doesn't say Michaela. It says Michaela. Michaela. Yeah. Yep. Rolly. Oh, I think that uh, they're worried about Johnson having a fire. These engines get extremely hot, so any collateral liquid gets on anything that's, that's great and hot. The one thing I've seen in a lot of youth and they haven't had the experience is that a lot of them, while they might be in second, third, or fourth right there, they're starting to pull their flags. And it's like you never want to do that because you don't know what's going to happen in, before, unless one of the officials says pull your flag. You just don't know. Yeah, and and you can lose some, pos some position and some good money. Well, and the problem is they have so much respect for the judges and yeah. everything. They don't want to make anybody mad. Um, we'll go to Calissa Lyons. The rundown is youth, minis, light, farm trucks, 80s wire, then light, medium, heavy. There's, there's a whole lot of show tonight. A whole lot of show. I'm, you know, I'm, you're asking, well, if you need somebody to fill in for you, I'm like, I'm going to need somebody to fill <laughs> yeah. in. I cannot talk this long. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting for sure. You know, and see, that's, that's the whole deal. You get this many cars running on a track like this, and it's starting to get soft, and it's another thing where these kids haven't quite learned yet. Yeah. You, when you hit somebody, you bear into them, let off the throttle, and you know, wait to get out. Because now we went from having, what, six cars going? To, to three. two. Two, three, yeah. Oh, three now, yep. Yeah. 
And these guys, the ones that are left running, are a little less, a little less uh, eager to help the others out. And also, the ones that are left running have been doing youth heats for the last two years now, so they're starting to get that experience. Yes, 100%. and they're starting to grow as drivers, which is so fun to see. Because what did you used to see? You know, you'd see these youth once they turned 16. They'd go out with the adults, get waxed real quick, and then they wouldn't come back. Yep. So. Nice little hit. The nice thing is, too, is Stuart Dirt usually allows the youth class. We have what? I think here we have a minute. Oh, there's Roxy. Off. Roxy's getting, she's going. Oh, she's going to go. She just got to let her eat in reverse. Go in reverse. Come on, Roxy. Get out of there. She's begging the drivers beside her, just, just rub me once. There you go. Oh, forwards one more time, Roxy. She's just got to go quick. Oh, no, no. Darn. I don't know if they're shooting for a million there, if they're going to go, they're trying to get Roxy to break her stick. They're I can't trying to get enough. Roxy, darn oh, it. Yeah. I still think she's going to be in the money, though, because I think she'll probably end up getting a mad dog if it was. Because we do have a form of award for a driver tonight. Right. And I think that's going to have to be between Roxy and the pumpkin myself. All right, let's turn it on. Boy, yeah, man, let's go. Braxton Anderson has won it again. Or one, not a He's won the show. All he's got to do is make a tap on 24. Oh, oh, 82 got her back going. Okay, so we're down to two. Oh, oh good, good hit. hit. Right on that front wheel. You know the nice thing about this class, too, is that you can't have that crazy bumper. You know, Braxton's running that 4x4 on the front. So when it comes in for a wheel shot, unless you are very good at what you're doing, Usually it doesn't affect the wheel. And another thing is if you look at you say, well, they're mounting a four by four. Any car that came with a shock must have the shock in factory position. Yes. It can be, if it's sitting inside the frame, you're allowed to undo the bolts and let it slide back in a little bit. But the shock has to be the part that's mounted to the bumper. What's up, Mr. Chris Johnston? You watching up there in Montana? There you go. Heat number one is over. The winner is Braxton Anderson. Braxton Anderson, second place. Well, hold on, I'm not sure. Uh, Braxton's stick appears to be broke, but he made the last hit, so maybe he accidentally broke it. Second place, in unofficially, would be Mikhail Raleigh. Third place would be um, Billion. It's got to be right there. Brody Million. I think they made him break his stick. Last after it'll be interesting to see what their that final call is. Yep, because we do not have any knowledge yeah, of what's no going knowledge. on. No, here, no, we got no stopwatches, anything like that. Okay, so who do we want to give the gladiators of steel heat to the, in that heat? It's going to be one of two. Um, you know, I think I'm not taking away from from 307 at all. I'm not trying to say anything bad about the Johnson kid, but. You know, Roxy does come out here and she lays it down every time. Yeah. So I feel if we were to give it to her, I feel I would feel it was justified. But if, I mean, it's kind of up to you. I'll let, I'll let that be you. Oh, you're gonna put that on me. <laughs> David Sullivan, there's 125-ish, give or take one or two cars tonight. David Sullivan, you're asking how many cars tonight? It ended up being right at about 125 cars. You're like, woo. I'm like, we're like, woo. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> All right. I believe Roxy Guns Burns is going to be the Gladiators of Steel. She started it out right. Now, what a Gladiators of Steel is, is somebody that just goes out there and lays it down isn't really thinking about the win, that's just putting on a show and basically slaying it. So, glad you to steal. Roxy 07 Guns Burns is your mad dog for, not mad dog, glad you to steal for heat number one. Can you guys hear us well? Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, so who do we have? Mikel Rowley and Cooper Castano. 
All right. Get it more towards your mouth. So your name is Mikhail. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you guys think out there? So much fun. So much fun. A lot of fun. I know uh, every time. So did you get Mad Dog then? Uh, I don't think so. Don't know yet. So what? Uh, what all did it take to get you guys out here for this? Um, my uncle told. Um, to well, <laughs> hauled my car down here for okay. me. Okay, there you go. Uh, where from? Um, Twilla. Twilla? There you go. And you? Uh, Grantsville, Utah. There you go. So, what uh, what are you guys going to, got cars planned for next year, or what are we going to do there? Yep. Yeah, I got to start getting some cars for next year, start yep. stripping them. You got to you gotta stay in the same class, or are you guys going to try to move up? I'll go youth, so. You go I'm going to gonna stay in youth for one more year, then go to adult next year. There you go. There you go. Uh, what uh, what kind of car? You say you already got some cars for next year? Um, I'm not too sure, but hope planning on getting some. There you go. What would you tell kids your age about Derby? Do it. Yeah, do and it. And how it's to get fun. involved. Um, talk to people that are in it, get involved, and see how you can start to strip cars and see how you can figure out how to build them and stuff. How much are you guys both involved in building cars? Quite a bit. You guys are there through all the nights and the moms how do your how do your moms like it she's nervous but <laughs> she gets through it yeah yeah i've got three kids myself and they're not uh they're not so much my wife's not interested in them derby at all my daughter derby here this year and she got she took a couple good hits and got some whiplash right. and smashed into a loader so yeah i kind of <laughs> took a bad one there but yep. we're we're getting it there yeah it's still a lot of fun though <laughs> what do you guys think about all the cars and the environment as far as the the track and everything else. A lot of people don't get this. It's so much fun. <laughs> it's a very fun experience that not a lot of people get to get through, and it's so much fun when you get to do it. Right. Well, your car looks like you can run it again next year. Is there any is there any shows left in Utah other than Halloween Havoc? Or I don't it? think so. Not that I know of. So now we move into, into next year. Yeah. And then what, uh, you guys got any shout-outs you want to shout-out? Anybody um, want to say hi to? My Uncle Jonas for getting me into derbies. Thanks, Jonas. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, my Uncle Quinn and my Uncle Colin. There you go. What else would you guys, anything else you guys got going on? You can talk uh, about what you're on. You're on talking to everybody, so. Uh, not much. Not Just much. Living the derby life some days. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I guess thanks for coming on, guys. Yep. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming to the show and enjoying it. And, you know, you guys had great luck. So Yeah, yeah. thank you so we'll much. Move on to next thank summer. You. All right, everybody. Rockin' Roxy Burns every time. Hey, can we flip it to <laughs> Jake? Hey, Jake. Jake, can we flip to All right, there we go. Roxy. You are on TV everywhere. How's that feel? That's You're crazy. a superstar. <laughs> All right, this is Guns Roxy Burns. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, we, you always get up on top of the car and you give the whole crowd the muscle show. Yep. Uh, how, how did that start? Um, my very first derby, I won first place and I got on, or actually there was people taking pictures of me and I just decided to do guns because it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did awesome. And you know what's really impressive is as you have driven, as you guys drive more and more and more, you, you can tell you feel a lot more comfortable in the car. Are you starting to feel more comfortable out there? Yeah, I am. Are you starting to take a lot of notes from dad and understand, you know, he's probably telling you what to do, how to hit, where to hit. Is that? Is yeah, that, he, well, does, he does tell me. And he probably tells you to hit hard like he does, right? Yep, he does. Yeah, it's all about the show, right? It is all about the show. Well, you are a show. And so every heat, we give, an out, give out an award. The award is the Glad, Gladiators of Steel hat. Now, if you see mine, it says no participation trophies on the back. And we thought that we need to give somebody give something away that was different than just something you could go buy for 20 bucks up at the... Nah, we're not doing that. So we actually had a special hat that is only for drivers that earn this. I believe your dad has earned one and possibly your brother. <laughs> you have now earned one. And this isn't something we're just giving you. You drove you right out of the hole. 
you started laying it out. I mean, you airborne almost a couple <laughs> shots. Yeah. On the back of this hat, it says, Vene Vidi Vici, the victor. What that means is I came, I saw, and I conquered. And so we want to award, on behalf of Gladiators of Steel, we want to award you a hat of the Gladiators of Steel that is only for people that earn it. Vene Vidi Vici. <laughs> Perfect. Thank Guns, you. Guns. Congratulations. Always keep up that showmanship because you did amazing out there. And we thank you for giving the crowd what they pay for, and that's a show. Yep. And your family <laughs> is that. They they could be called. Well, there's a show back east, but if we had a yeah. west coast, yeah, your they, family could be the show. That's for sure. <laughs> so and We enjoy so much more being able to give these to youth drivers because they're the ones just getting started, and you're – you're getting to where you're more methodical about where you're making your hits, but you're not backing off on the throttle. And that's what's going to carry you so far, just like with your dad and your brothers. Or yeah. your brother, and it'll be, you'll be right there. Yeah, you the, are right there. I, I'm very good friends with the 333 car that you hit, and I'm going to have <laughs> to hear about the next week how their son's neck is sore. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. He can't move. He can't get out of bed. <laughs> and, you know, you got to be proud of that because – I always say, if, you, if you're if you not hurting after a show, you didn't have a lot of fun out there. Yep, my neck hurts a little bit, but. Well, you did good, and congratulations. Is this your mad dog? Yep. So you did get mad dog. Yes. Hey, that well-deserved. You got some money for that. Life is good. You can go shopping. <laughs> yeah, and you got a hat. Now you and you got, and got a hat. You won it all. You, that's the, tri it's not the trifecta, because that's <laughs> three, but it's something now, like that. I don't think, does your dad have a. A Vinavidi Vici hat? I think so. Yes, he did okay. win. And his daughter, because uh, we've been giving out all year, and I think they want, both him and the boy um, won him at different times. Right. Yeah. Now yeah. the whole family. Now we got to get mom out in the car. How's that going to work? <laughs> oh, I don't know if she'd be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel redeemed after Wire Madness now? Yes. It's a lot better now? It's a lot better. Yeah. Well, we got all these dang. I'm getting hit by mosquitoes galore out here. So every, congratulations. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Stay warm and eat some good barbecue. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for Have coming up. Time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Guns. Well, I think I butchered the, the two kids ones, but they still got to talk and they got to kind of right. say hey. how they got into it. That's awesome. There's no, I don't think there's any written book on how this is supposed to go. So I don't think there really is at all. So the next heat of the night is what? The what minis. are they called? The minis. Oh, my goodness. You know, the guys back home wouldn't believe me if I said this, but I'm going to say it on here. The compacts, when everybody is built the same, they are a lot of fun to watch. They, you know, they're, they're power to the ground and their traction is just awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have made a drastic change back from when I did mini cars. All right, so. All right, so yeah, we have farm. So they're actually putting the youth in front of the farm trucks because farm trucks will be next. Uh, here, Mike is next. So I guess we'll just have to wait. We're going to play it by ear. Yeah, it's interesting. I was, I was I'm a, a Facebooker, so I get on and I look to see a lot of the stuff that's going on, and it's crazy how many people are, the sign-ups for shows all the way next June, July already yeah, starting. It all. is. Everybody's fighting for those cars, so it's 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 amazing. Oh, and that's just it, you know. We signed up for some shows that we don't normally sign up for, and then I know that there's a lot of guys that are chomping at the bit to find out if Stern Dirt's going to do anything different next year. Don't know if we are, don't know if we're not. not I'm not even going to lie to anybody. It is October 1st, and I, at this point, I, I don't, think I don't have very many cares about what's going on next year. Well, we'll discuss you know, that in January. And yeah, right now I'm not even thinking about yeah, that yet. It's, it's the least of our concerns. But Johnny's yeah. whole idea is he's going to Italy in two weeks. That's what he cares about right now. Yeah. After we get back from Italy, I'm sure we'll start discussions with Stern Dirt Racing, what's going on next year, how many shows. I'm sure it's going to be another barn burner of a year. Yeah. Rumor has it that... Somebody's been talking with Sterner about maybe adding a couple more shows, and so. Who would that be? I, you know, I, 
I can't say anything. Is he sitting to your left? He could be sitting to my left. We've had some Four, offers. <laughs> and you know, people have no idea what it takes behind the scenes to do this. And if it wasn't for the amazing Sturger crew and staff, I don't know if it could be done. I will say, if it really wasn't for Johnny and Jerry, and the staff is amazing, and we got good crews, the last couple of years have been amazing, and I have to say thanks to all them, but I'll tell you, Johnny, Johnny's semi-retired, and without this, he, this is what keeps him going. Yeah. Oh, yes, he loves it. He gets in a completely different zone. And these guys, you know, they're really turning it up. And there's already dead cars. Yes. Six, did we announce who the drivers were in this heat? We did not. I will start on that better next time. Yes. That's the old Pinto, that white one is a Sedag and Pinto wag. <laughs> yes, that when it came in, you could only see the passenger side. And wherever you've driven that before, they worked that passenger side over because it almost looked, it like, an like, open wheel, looked yeah. like an open wheel modified car. Yeah, it was leaning hard. Yeah. And it, and it was actually shifted over. The wheels were up far to the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I've seen. It looked like an open wheel modified stock car. You weren't going to get to the tires on the driver's side. No. <laughs> No, I, I see they just hit it and still walked it over to the driver's side a lot on the back. Everything else is going, I mean, smart drivers out here that do drive these compact cars. They're pretty seasoned and they kind of know what's going on. You can tell on all the Corsicas and the stuff like that, they all have been running all year long and they all yep. look about identical now. Yes. They've all bent as far as they're going to bend. Yeah, now it's just literally trying to be the guy that keeps his stuff together and staying on top. Now we're down to the, now we're down to the drivers that are more, they're going to chase that win. The Carroll boys always do an amazing job. They've spent a lot of money getting those two cars going. Yeah. I was hoping to see them get totally ruined so they could build some fresh ones for next year, which hopefully they will. <laughs> but they come from a family, a derby family, yeah. a heavy derby family. There's probably some of these that are most people would just walk away from, but coming from a family like mine, it's always nice to see other families that just do whatever it takes to keep a car going and, and you know, being competitive with it on top of that. Yeah, you were telling me that you start the cars off at the start of the year in a really light build, and by the end of the year, it's almost an outlaw car. It, it, gets, it gets really close. You know, like Larry's May Mania car is a perfect example of that this year. It came to May Mania, and it was super light build compared to what we're used to, and then he took it to that damn derby, and then you know, it just progresses into a, a heavy hitter class is what we have in Nebraska for the, what I come up with it is designed for those cars that just can't be fixed legally. But if they can have some kickers and a few extra plates and it, it can get them back going, those guys usually get three or four more shows out of that one car. And you're not chasing those young guys out because kickers cost 50 bucks for two by two by quarter. You know, that Spaz, whoever Spaz is. <laughs> yeah. 56, I think, in his car number. Yeah, 56 Spaz. Yeah, I'm not sure who it is. Is there 56, right? Yeah, it says Cash Larson. Cash Larson. Yeah. And then we have. He, is a, he is a Spaz. Yeah. <laughs> We have a Wilbur Larson out there, which is crazy because it's spelled the exact same way as mine with U instead of an E. And it's funny, he's on the driver's side of his car, it has Wilbur's Customs, but it's not like my friend Shane pointed it out. And I said, yeah, but it's not Will Be Yours Custom. JoJo. Yeah. <laughs> JoJo. Yeah, it's fast, it's still going. 
Spaz parts into the back of the Sedag and Pinto. And Mr. Anderson, you know, Nathan Anderson, his stuff always, he's kind of got it figured out. His stuff seems to run and run and run also. You know, you look at a lot of these cars and they almost look identical to how they pulled in the arena now. Yeah. Or earlier. They're, they're definitely tough cars and they build them very well. That's an awful big mosquito right there. <laughs> Is it like one of them Alaskan ones that kind of looks like a bird? Oh, there is Spaz still going. Oh, he's cutting him oh. off the corner. Oh, oh nice beautiful hit. shot. Oh, and Anderson's going to capitalize on that one. Did he just give him the finger salute? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's over. He's like, let me out. You know, I, I just don't think he's going to do it. I think he's going to keep putting the wood to him. I, I would really like to wish I had a... a Binoculars, so I can see what kind of salute. Right. Five six. Cash Larson. Cash Larson. You know, Nathan Anderson still did what he could to try to get him off of there, but I think that's all she wrote for this. Oh, no, he's going to come in and lay her down a real good one. You know, that's such good sports. Oh, look at that. There. Oh. Now, do they have, t does he have enough time? Spaz has to make a hit. He said Spaz didn't couldn't necessarily make a hit on a dead car. I'm not for sure how, oh, here we go. Good job. That will even bend a tough yeah. mini car. See, and that's what's nice to watch. Even though, really, what he did didn't affect the outcome at all, it still allowed him to get out and allowed the crowd to get excited. Oh, here we go. Spaz has lost. His rear end is almost in the dirt. Pinned. Look at that back wheel. Yeah. The one is just gone. Here we go. Nice. Oh. <laughs> you know, I will say Spaz is a Spaz is inside the car because he is all over the place. Oh, Hand yeah. signals. Woo! Yeah, just as excited. He's throwing double, double thumbs up. Nathan's doing what he can to try to get that engine running. That's a dual hit, I believe. And this is where Johnny writing all the checks a, uh, a week ago. <laughs> this is where Spaz would need to back up. And he's candy. He's just throwing mud. He's pretty animated in that car. Yes, he is. <laughs> and we're going to have to bring that up with him here. Yes, yeah. <laughs> They must be going to call it as fast was the aggressor of that. Johnson hit. Leon, yes, I, I will tell you. There's nothing wrong with watching multiple shows at the same time. Sam Filippo, when I went out three, four years ago, was an amazing show. And I would love to watch that muscle car heat. <laughs> I have a bucket list. I would love to take a muscle car out there and let it and just run it, let it eat. Yep. Josh's group, uh, Spinning Wheels, does an amazing job. And again, you have three or four hundred cars showing up for zero prize money. Yeah. Zero sure. prize money, and all the money goes. They raised over a hundred thousand last year for for uh, San Filippo, the disease, and it is awesome to see. Everybody should support that, and if they can help, help out. Oh yes. 
if they have the opportunity and they have the ability to support it and help it, that, you know, don't hesitate. Well, that was quick. We do need, is, do you think Spaz is the gladiator of, of the heat? I think so, definitely. He was really he's, laying it out there know, pretty good. And it looks like he got the $1,000 award for Mad Dog and the win. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you can't really take it away from me. He was the one that was kind of laying it all out there. I, I just get, you know, I probably met him. He's probably going to come up here and be like, oh, it's you. Right? Because <laughs> he is sort of crazy. Jonas T. Johnson is watching. Is Are you not here? At the show. And there's a tie for first place. And Glenn Madsen, I'm glad you are, or Glenn Madden, I'm glad you are coming out of retirement. I know a couple years ago you sold everything, you were done, and then all of a sudden this year I saw you buying up some cool cars and saying you're trying to tick your wife off or something and build a car again. So that's awesome to see you coming back out, hopefully. Would love to watch you. You are always a driver to watch. Cash, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. You, you, you can I say this in the most nice way? You bet. You truly are a spaz. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. <laughs> We're watching you, and it's like, You're is, so he giving somebody, <laughs> is he giving somebody the, four, the, the number one well, signal? My dad's in that number six car. I had to wave at him a few times. Then my family's up there, you know, you gotta wait to them. But well, yeah, but you're, everybody, time they hit you, you're just flying around. No, I, yeah. It's like, I see why they gave him the name Spaz. <laughs> well, thank is, you. Is that how you got it? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, because I'm like, <laughs> always like, doing something with the hand. Okay, you're you're really animated and you're yeah. a lot of fun to watch, and you're not afraid to make a big hit. Yeah. You weren't mad out there, were you? Oh no, no. You were not giving some of the one no, finger. No, no, <laughs> never. No. Did you have something against the B43 car? You seemed no, extremely I didn't. excited just, when you piled, well, halfway piled through the heat, into the wall. Halfway through the heat or so, I lost. I couldn't get reverse. He just jammed up on me, so I'm like, i got to get a hit where I can. So he was right there, it seemed like, every time. But no, nothing against any great driver. But Well, you drove excellent. Thank and so, you. And I think you won. Did you tie for first? I, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, tie I, for first or second. Or, or, yeah, I don't know, but it was... But you did win Mad Dog, yes. one of the one of the Mad Dog awards, which is probably the best one to yeah, win. It's awesome. It's a good looking, good I looking flag they, you got. Oh yeah. I think Gonna they gave it? him the win. I think they considered him the aggressor, yeah. right? I don't I, think we I do. I think he's the aggressor. Did you not look at your flags. I yeah, I'm I'm just happy. You just kind of spazzed out. You yeah. didn't care. You're just. <laughs> I've had crazy luck you know, this year. You so know, somebody like happy. you, you know, other people that I know, Robbie Layton is a lot. You know who Robbie Layton oh, yeah. is? Yep. He has an out-of-body experience every time he's in a car. Oh, yeah. And it's like I enjoy watching him inside of a car more than I watch him <laughs> in the heat because he's just yeah. crazy. So, but And he's a great driver, but he's just nuts oh, yeah, inside a car. So the award we give out is a Gladiators of Steel hat. Do you know, have you heard anything about uh, those? Yeah, yeah. I've All right, three, well. Yeah. You definitely are the winner of the Gladiators of Steel of heat number two, and you got to watch for the flying birds, which are mosquitoes here. Yeah. <laughs> but, again, as we say, these are special hats just for the drivers that earn them. You have earned them. It says Vinny Vidi Vici, which is, and, and the victor. Um, yeah. It's in Gro Roman, Greek, you know, something. It means <laughs> I, I came, came, I saw, saw and, and I, I conquered. conquered. Right on. Right you on. were out there not worrying about anything other than just putting Having on a fun, show, yeah, on a show. Uh, being a slayer. And that's what <laughs> I That's what I, I usually ask, what does it mean to be a gladiator? And I always call it a slayer. Well, you were out there slaying. So on behalf Thank of you. Gladiators of Steel, congratulations. You are <laughs> one of few. There's not a lot of people that can wear, have that hat. Right you on. will never be able to buy that exact hat. Heck, yeah, that's sweet. So thank congratulations you and thanks for putting on a show. <laughs> you Anybody you want to say hi to or uh, thank? Just my wife and my son. He's almost a year old. So So yeah, you're I married? Know. Yep, I'm married. So will your wife let you hang that uh, flag on the bedroom no. wall? No. <laughs> no. That goes out in the shop. Hey, you know, honey, this is very important stuff. <laughs> you're so you know. honest and quick, noob. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, there's no chance it's going to be in the bedroom. Yeah. Can no. you do us something? Can you, when she's not home, hang it on hang the bedroom wall and take a picture and you send bet. it to us? <laughs> <laughs> no, right on, guys. That's awesome. Well, thank you again no, you for bet. being 
drivers like what you were doing is why people come and pay the big bucks to watch these shows. So right thank you very thank, much thank and you. have a great evening yeah, and look forward to seeing you next year. Oh, for sure. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, all righty. Uncle Ford will bring in the truck. Let's all right, here we go. 11 of them. And my favorite, of course, is the double lot. I like the old Impalas. Yeah, it's hard not to not to like those. Yeah, Butch, it would be, we tried to get our high school to do cars too, and they never did, but these four or five cars were all built at one high school, and they're doing this together. They were down at the Pace and uh, the Nephi Derby running. All right, brother. So All right. Good. Oh, oh that good was a shot. big hit. Oh, there's, oh. A, there's the high school Old Faithful. Oh, so oh. far, just awesome hits. Mr. Cox. Don't be, don't ruin your car. You have to, can't break it. <laughs> Might have to build a new uh, one. Yep. Oh, oh another big That hurt them both. That yeah. hurt them both. Oh, we got, well, a, we got a flag. Red, red flag. flag. Red flag. Okay, what are we doing? I think. We the, got, do we have an injury? I think the Piper car here. I think the roof come down. Maybe. 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 Never what you want to hear at the no. last show of the year. Medics to the uh, arena. No, but once again, it gives us time to look at how quick the Sterner officials are out there and trying to figure out what's going on. Well, hopefully they pop up. Yeah, there he is. He's like, yeah, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> He's like, you can't bring the medics out here for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to get me out of a car quick. Say, ambulance ride. Okay, somebody else is running across the arena. I don't know what that person's doing behind the... He's try, is he trying to fix another car? It's like, what are you doing? They must have been trying to do something for sure. All right. Everybody. Nobody even caught it. They were so busy. So Johnson I, Leon, I'm glad the muscle car class did not disappoint. I, th I think that it would take something amazing for a muscle car class to disappoint, though, to be honest. Well, we will have to be wa getting back on, rewinding yep. and watching that because that's pretty awesome what they're doing there. Last year's was actually really good, too. Yep. So here we go, and I think that would be the only car that's down, so. Yeah, that pushed on that double zero, pushed back a little bit. It did. I can't quite tell at this angle if it's behind the wheels or in front. I think it was more so the core support, though. Yeah. Because that might get so much higher. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. That's Mr. Hefley. I know. You know, and that's just it. These guys are going to stay on them so hard they won't be able to get them fired back up. And I think the one car, I think that's a mid or late 80s, early 90s Thunderbird. Oh, nice oh, hit. Nice hit. I think Mr. Hefley's transmission is going out. And I think he's trying to win that thousand bucks. Yes, I think so. There we go, everybody's staying moving. Oh, oh, nice hit. He says, Jason just hit me a minute ago. I'm gonna get even. <laughs> yeah. You know, it is so nice to watch these 100% stock cars. This is stock motors. And oh, hold come, on. Here comes Hold Jeffrey. on. Look at oh. this, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> Love it. We can watch the, watch the K-bars move and the, the hay move. I think Mr. Hefley has a broken axle. Or his tranny He's got a broken broke. something. Or his tranny's broke. But it was self-inflicted, yes. right? Yes. You know, a 12 or 13 hour drive for four minutes. You know, sometimes that that's, is the love that's of the sport, right? 
see my hand and banana just popped on the lawn. Love you, babe. I, I can't tell. I don't think that Hefley's moving any dirt on the driver's side. I think he's just got a broken tranny. Yeah, that's all she wrote for him. Well, I'm going to tell you, he got the gladiator already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, Hefley does he have is. a broken axle. Now I can see the dirt moving. Yep. But I think he gave her a little onion, a little too much. Now we are down to what appears to be maybe one car actually moving. Yeah, there's one thing about these wire, these these there we go. These easy builds or not really easy builds, but these this build, a lot of them don't have big expensive motors, so they just 67's just like he's gonna go find out that there's a dead end there because there's yeah. not a lot of room to get through. There we go, Hefley's running again. Oh, now he's got now how does that work? He's got something broke somewhere. But look at the shifter. He is pulling on that shifter. Yeah. yeah he, he can't get that shifter back. Yeah, it must be wedged up on the body there. Yeah, once he... All right, he's, somebody's going to... Oh, nope. I think Mr. 666, Aaron Cox, I think he's just oh. going to take the win. That car, I guess, I guess I'm gonna see that hit, oh. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Yeah, he better repaint it, make it look different next year. <laughs> yeah, something. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go, darn it, darn it. 67 left. Oh, here we go. 666 is gonna go. Did he go around the back side? This should be about it. It's really about there. I can't think why it wouldn't be. All right, there, there you go. go. Looks like Eric Cox. I could be wrong. It's either Eric Cox or Victor Cox. Victor. Victor. 666? Should be Eric. Okay, yeah. Eric. So Eric Cox won and then. Second place is over here. I don't remember the number. And I don't even know what the prize money is beyond first place. It's a thousand five hundred two fifty and then two thousand dollar mad dogs. Who's our winners, Jesse? Good to know. So second place got five hundred, but I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure what his number was. Oh. Great song. Yeah. Here comes Mr. I will let you talk with Mr. Hefley and I will good. go and do what I got to do real quick and be good. Well, hello, Mr. H. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Are you feeling good? Oh, I feel great. Did you get your, did your shifter cable get pinned somehow because you yeah. couldn't get it into reverse? Yeah, it's pinned somewhere underneath. Right. How did that happen? Uh, it's probably when I hit someone here or there. Or over there. Over there or yeah. here or there because you were not, you weren't trying to win. You were trying to get Mad Dog, weren't you? That's what we're here for. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yep. they awarded you Mad yep. Dog already. Yep. Well, that is awesome. Helps pay for the gas, get you back to California. Yeah. What a great show. Thank you for coming and putting on such a great show. Oh, thanks for having me. How long of a drive is it for you? Uh, so it's usually to Ogden, 10 hours. Oh, so it's not, I was announcing 12, 13. I was like, ten, I was announcing 12 hours for four minutes of fun. Right? <laughs> no, nine, uh, nine and a half hours for about 45 seconds. Well worth it? Well worth it. Well, I don't know if in the past, what is a gladiator to you? What's a, what is a gladiator? A gladiator is, uh, to me, so gladiators went out into an arena and put on a show for everybody. 
Okay. okay. How about a true uh, old school gladiator? Uh, someone with uh, no right. no fear. Um, I mean, it, gladiators back in the day were not to die, basically. So. Yep, they were. So, uh, the definition for me, you just nailed it right there. Is somebody that's just a slayer, right? And I can't think of anybody better in that heat to call a slayer than you. Thank you. You were definitely glad to use the heat. So we have a hat for you, a special hat. Appreciate we talk it. about it. And so you know what it means. I don't know if you've heard about these hats before. I have, yeah. But the Veni Vidi Vici, which means I came, I saw, and I conquered, and you were the victor of that. Of right. that. And so um, only people that get these cannot buy them. I right. bought mine. It says no participation trophies. Right. Uh. But... We award these to drivers that earn them. And in heat number three of the night, yes, sir. you are the gladiator of steel. It. And we appreciate you. you coming to all the way from oh, California yeah. um, to show, put on a show. And you definitely put on a show. Yeah. So Perfect. congratulations. Enjoy Thank the you. rest of your evening. I will. Thanks. You know, our big sponsor, we did not until... Right before May Mania, two weeks before May Mania, we did not have any plans of doing the full contact Derby TV. Um, we had some opportunity with Gladiators of Steel looking for to sponsor events. Came to us and said, hey, why don't you put on a podcast? So we created full contact Derby TV for this year. And glad we did. It was a lot of fun, a lot of growing and learning experiences. Um, but we've had the great opportunity to announce and talk about Gladys of Steel all summer long. What a great show, and a lot of people are asking, when is it coming up? When is it coming up? When are we going to be able to see it? We are announcing the date. The first week, it's the weekend of Blizzard Bash. So watch, we will be announcing it all over the place. It's going to be a big, heavy push. But you will be able to watch Gladys of Steel this year. We were going to release the date, how to watch it, all the weekend of Blizzard Bash. So, again, grateful for Gladiators of Steel and being able to talk about that product and being able to really get people hyped up to watch it. If you haven't seen any of the videos, get on gladiatorsofsteel.com, on their YouTube, Facebook, wherever they are seen, and be able to get clips to see what's going to happen. It's going to be an amazing show, so be excited about it. All right, we have a interview going on here with Mr. Ricky McMillan out of, what was the name of your town? Redmond. Redmond. So tell me what's Redmond by, what's it by? Richfield. Okay, that's, uh, that, that's enough. So you ready for the season to be over? Yes and no. How's the car, is it still good? Yeah, it's good. What happened in that heat? Just took my starter wires out. It's enough to take you off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I will tell you, I, I went out, and I actually, yours is one of the few mini cars I saw. You as a driver have come a long way in your builds. I mean, you're building a good, nasty mini car now. Thank you. So you got a car ready to go next year? Yeah. Or if somebody puts on a winter festival or something and That'd be fun. go out in the backyard and beat them up with some friends or whatever? Oh, yeah. Well, so what would you think? How long did you last in your heat? Did you make it to halfway point? So it made it worth yeah, keep coming yeah, down. Yep. Yeah. Well, so what are you, what are you thinking about the mini cars here in Utah? It seems like they've really stepped up their game this year. Yeah, I really like them. They're a lot less expensive than big cars anymore. People like Family Man, you can actually afford to do it. What kind of car were you running? It's a '97 Lumina. '97 Lumina, because at the start of the year, May Mania, didn't you have? Was that or was that last year where you had the? Um, wasn't neons, but the Corsicas, or the Cobalts. No, Taylor my teammate had a Cobalt. I had an all one Lumina. Was it this Lumina? No, or, different. So th how many how, how many shows have you got into this with this, this one? This one's three. This is the third. So still doing pretty well, ready to go yeah. for another couple, two or three next year. Yeah, motor rebuild, and we should be good. Who are you going to have build your motor? Hopefully trade. I was going to say, I was, that's, you know, of course, he's one of our sponsors, and we're always going to push... Mr. Schrade, he builds a good, nasty, you know, nasty motor, and he built the motors in, I think, the Carroll cars, I believe. Yep. So, a little Boston sweet. How's your little one doing? He's doing great. How old is he now? He's turned one. Wow, time flies, or d is he a little monster? Yeah, he's figuring out how to walk, and it's hard to keep up with him. Gotta love that, though, though, right? Oh, yeah. Well, 
Anything exciting going on this winter for you guys? I don't think so. Not really, nothing planned yet. Well, what you, you got another luminous build, or are you just going to fix this one up and be ready to go? I've got two more. How's, really how's the wife like in Derby? She said she loved it. Sweet. Sweet. Well, is there anybody in sponsors or people that are out there watching tonight that you would like to thank or say hello to? Uh, probably 3 to one CDL and Glassmasters for sure. They helped me out a lot this year. So. Sweet. Well, congratulations. Thanks for coming out and supporting Stern Dirt Racing. Thanks for... Um, Putting on a good show, you've and thanks for coming a long way. It's great to see you out there competing and building such a great car. Thank you. So good luck this winter, and look forward to seeing you come spring. Okay, we'll be back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Car number Michael Simonson from Manti, Utah. Car number 43, the red, white, and blue. Looks like an old Ford. Is that an old Ford or is that an old Dodge? It looks like an old Dodge to me. Another red, white, and blue. That's definitely a Suburban. Yeah, there's a hard guess on that one, wasn't it? <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. Okay. Michael, he's either really got a, I don't know if it runs very good, or we'll see, car number 01. You know, the, the Ben Minnesota, Conrad from P.O. Utah. The, the Minnesota turnouts are so hard to tell if it's running good or it's got a vacuum leak. Sounds pretty good right now. The Minnesota turnouts. Okay, for all you that are talking about terminology, that means when the headers come out, they're usually separated into four individual headers. Yep. And when they come straight out of your hood, they face out and blow the, the air out away, away from the, the car. Yes, to the and right, it does the change the sound and the pitch. and air. It is a full-on experience. Nothing like that one that you do where you join the two pipes up above the carburetor. And that's you know, I, I just talked, I was just talking to a guy while I was back there and somebody else was on, and I said, you know, I think this venue and State Fair would be an awesome venue for the Y pipe. I think oh. it would echo in here. Car number, I'm just going to read the drivers. 01 Ben Conrad, 3 13 12. Bryson Glass from also 19 CG Lee. Car number 26, Cody Sheehan. Car number 16, Dalton Gullo. Car 117, Justin Pace. Car 43, Michael Simonson. Car 116, Nathan Anderson. Car number 86, Nick Hadney. And car number X101, Robert Balfour. Those are the trucks. Is there, I, they're not coming down this way, so I can't actually see the numbers. Those are the tr farm trucks for heat number four and almost halfway through the evening. Yes. Daniel Grange, thank you. Me and Gumby appreciate your kind words. I don't know if we're that great. We kind of like you, too. Casey Johnson's just living the dream? No, Daniel Grange is living the dream. He asked, he asked Grange what was up. I, Brandon caught him. I'm trying to look and see. I don't think we have any Douglas, Wyoming uh, alumni here. Well, thank you for everybody watching and all you guys. Somebody's asking how many drivers are from Douglas, Wyoming. I know there's a lot from Wyoming here. Well, that's what I just said, but I'm not sure. I don't a think lot. there's any from Douglas. A lot of Rock Springs. Yep. And there's Rawlings. A, and Rawlings. There's yeah. a bunch of oh, them. Oh, we have Douglas. Brody Million from Douglas, Wyoming. Oh, yeah, the Million. The Marty. Yeah. The Marty yeah. clan. The, the seed of Marty. <laughs> All right, here we go, trucks. These guys can get after it. We got to watch a few of these trucks earlier this year. Oh, that was a nice hit. Glance and hit. You know, I do like that Dodge Durango in a truck in a farm truck. You know, it did really good last last time it was here. It seemed very nimble. You know, the, the maneuverability of that truck, there's a lot of things that could be a perk. Oh, now, I just uh, folded the bumper that, from up runner that Suburban did. Yeah, that's that's not a that's not one of the perks. <laughs> no. Still going good, though. Hasn't lost suspension. Nice hit. Swing and a miss from the Durango. Oh, oh nice hit Dalton Gullo just took a good shot by car number 01, Mr. Ben Conrad. 
got to do a huge shout out to Nathan Broadhead. Justin is doing his best job to fill in your shoes taking pictures tonight. Yeah, where is Nate? What's he's he doing? He's on his way back. Which one's, which, is it Disneyland in Florida or in California? Oh, beautiful shot by Amazing, Ben Conrad. Man. Beautiful shot. Uh, Disneyland is, salt, is California. Disney World is Florida. Okay, so he's on his way back from Disneyland is the rumor I heard. And that's why he wasn't able to attend tonight. As long as he went and could tell us how good Star Wars was, I don't think I care. Right? God, we seem to have them all piled up. Are they? You know, number 43 is doing his best to try to get them unhung up, but I think yeah, he, he might have just in. hurt himself. Well, I think Ben might knock him oh, free here. Here we go. Nice. Nice shot by Ben Conrad. That's what's so nice. The sportsmanship is just awesome. Ben's just coming up, keeping the front end clean, and yeah, hitting just the back. the nose to the dirt and letting it backwards. Oh, good shot by 117. I think that's CG Lee, isn't it? I know CG is or Justin the, Pace. Yeah, CG is the blue and white chili that's got a stick broken already. All right. You All know right. what? It's so nice. It doesn't matter if it's in a truck or a car. Just the art of driving backwards. Oh, swing and a miss. Almost a miss. Oh, this will be a pretty good one if you can get her lined up. Oh, yes, do it. Do it. Do not hold back. Do not hold back. And he's not. There we go. Oh, oh, nice oh and hit. she pushed hard. She hunked yeah, She did. But I don't think he cares. <laughs> it, it looks a little stubbier than when he started. Because I think he's planning on doing it again. Yeah, oh, see, oh, oh, beautiful little, shot little bit of by 43. He's like, yeah, I didn't like that wind up that much. Yeah. You know, but now that Suburban becomes dangerous. You see how much of that frame is sticking oh, out? Oh, I know. And look at it. it oh, oh, this is not good. Oh, nice oh, one. Oh, oh, he had to get on that, the brakes. Smart that, driving, but almost on, dangerous at the same time. Put it on the binder. He didn't do the he didn't do that dodge any help up front in the suspension. Yeah, he took the suspension the steering out. And there went the front suspension completely on the dodge. Oh, swing and a miss. Yeah, that dodge is not happy. He drove up over the K-rail and ripped the leaf springs off of his front. Here we go. Oh. Dodge like straighten up, straighten up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh I, that would have been awesome. <laughs> That's the worst part about not having steering. You just can't maneuver it like you want. Oh, swing and a miss. He's going to get there. He's going to get there. He's gonna, Oh, he's like, please, 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 please. Oh, there we go. Good shot by 43. Yes, nice shot. You know, those those shots feel so good because you're fighting so hard to get to a car, and you're like, okay, if I let the car, the gas off the car, it's going to go yep. it's gonna go straight. If I punch it, it goes to the right. It's like. It'll be perfect. Oh, don't tell me they're all stuck right there. Yes, I thought, Casey, I thought Gumby said that you earned a gladiator. Yes, he did. He must not have. He says he doesn't have a hat. Now, after this hit, we seem to be all hung up. Oh. And I think 43 actually has the last hit. I don't know if there was movement on the Suburban. Wouldn't that be sort of cool where you lose your suspension and you're just fighting, fighting, fighting to keep your time alive and you sneak out a win? That You've probably won a show like that before, I, haven't you? <laughs> I, I have not. I, you haven't. You've always had a good running I, car to finish, well, huh? I'm pretty good about my steering. I usually, and if my steering goes, I don't ever get the win. Seems like they, once they, once they see that your steering's gone, they usually kind of go after you like a coyote to a wounded rabbit. Yeah. It's like it'll be interesting to see how they call this. Actually, I think, did the black truck make the last hit? Casey did say he never got one, huh? 
I'm going to have to watch back and see what's going on. I think the black truck is one, which would be... Uh, 117. Just in case. And it looks like they're holding their flag, getting ready to call. It's about over. There's definitely not much time. Like how I would oh, when is it. that time? Yeah. So that's the red, white, and blue Suburban. Yeah. Who is coming up here as a gladiator still? Okay, yeah, oh, definitely. And in 43, who could arguably come up here as gladiator of steel? How are y'all doing tonight? <laughs> okay, this is Shane Waldy from Omaha, Nebraska. He came up here with me so we could enjoy this awesome show. And Gumby has decided he needed to go get a hoodie, so Shane is now, Shane's Gumby too. It's a little chilly. Uh, beautiful, but a little chilly. Uh, what a wonderful time. My first time in Utah. Uh, beautiful setting. Ton of cars. Ton of people. Yeah. What? When you look at the stands here compared to like back home in the last year, it's just a completely different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, here and wanted to be here. Uh, definitely. Because they filled this in very quickly and uh, are excited. And I can see why with uh, 140 cars obviously yeah. tonight. Yeah, I think we ended up a tally of 125-ish, give or take one or two. Okay, okay. But, and they hit, you know, like this. This was a good one. It turned, didn't turn out the way I thought it would. I think we have uh, 01 Ben Conrad in the Suburban. He's going to come up as the Gladiator of Steel. Okay, yeah, he was really throwing some rear end shots out there. Wow. Yeah, and, you know, uh, we'll see what he's got to say. And then the 43, the Dodge, once he realized he didn't have steering when he did that whole <laughs> jumping over the berm oh, yeah. and breaking his leaf spring, I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, who actually won the heat there at the end? I didn't hear. It would have been 117, okay. which would have been Justin Pace, and then it went to Michael Simonson, which was in that 43, that Dodge yep. pickup. And then, uh, oh, one Brad Conrad, and I think that's him here coming up. We'll put him in the middle. Discuss, discuss with him. Well, go ahead and put it on, big guy. <laughs> ben Conrad, right? Yep. 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 So, crazy turn of events. Let's get this off of here for you. Crazy <laughs> oh. turn of events. I thought you kind of had her there and then got hung up on 43 and ended up with third, but... You can squeak to Mad Dog, right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. some nice reverse shots. Yeah, that's how I like to drive. Oh, yeah. We were, you were I, lining him up big time. I, I'm old school. <laughs> no, that's, we were just well, making the comments, me and Gumby, about how it's nice, rather a pickup or a car or anything, it's nice to see the art of going backwards. Yep. Yep. It, and it's a lot tougher than it looks. Yes, yeah. it is. That's what I was thinking the whole time. That guy's neck. Wow. So, Gladiators of Steel does a thing. Okay. We, we have this hat. And. It's not like I'm going to so try to be the best Gumby I can here since he's gone. This hat is not like everybody else's. Okay. Like on the back of mine, I think it says no participation trophies. Right. This one doesn't. It says Vinavidi Vici, the victor, which stands for I came, I saw, and I conquered. And we're going to give you that, which is kind of Gladiators and Steel's. Um, Gumby likes to call it the Slayer, the guy who went out there and just didn't care. He laid it all down. He wasn't concerned with where he ended up in the back. Right. But, uh, and where are you from? Elko, Elko Nevada. Elko, Nevada. Okay. So I bet you're pretty happy you made the trip up here then. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't going to do it. Then this last two weeks ago at work, the guys were like, do it. And I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll sign up. <laughs> Have you ran a Havoc yeah. before? Um, Havoc, yeah. I haven't ran since 2018. Okay. So 2018. So that, the last time I drove that truck. Oh, so that truck's even from 2018. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. did you do any cars or any of the mod trucks, or has it always been like a farm truck build? Um, I used to do cars, and trucks are more fun. Trucks are more fun <laughs> for you. I, I, that's how I look at it. <laughs> right. Right. Well, you got anybody you want to shout out or um, thank for their help? or? Well, my buddy Badger helped me a lot. He, he was over there till 2 o'clock this morning. He was back at 8.30 this morning. Helped me get it finished. Um, my wife, always. Right. She, yeah, she should be first. Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do, I heard you say wife first, but yep. Badger just happened to come in second there. Yeah. 
But you know, it seems like you have the fundamentals down, so you know it, it stayed running, it kept moving, you kept moving, you yep. didn't allow yourself to get in any positions, and I didn't see you at all get in in all the mixed games where they all seem to get stuck. You stayed, you're like, I don't need any of that business, I'm out Right. Here. No, I was watching the earlier heats and I was seeing the middle of the arena was sticking people. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I want to zoom across the middle. And yeah, then you, you were picking it. Yeah. Picking yeah. your shots, that's for sure. Yep, and, that, yeah, and I you tried. Had one, you had one really good one down here where you cut just the side of that 43. Did you feel that one? Yeah. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel it. Yeah, that was the, in, the intense shot. I mean, I've never derbied. A truck, ever really? I don't you think should. I've ever even been. I had a buddy that sold sold us one, and I got it, and I said, "I'm out of this. There's no, they <laughs> don't fit." But I've driven a lot of cars, and wagons are the same way. You know, when you hit back, it's it's all you can do to right. to move the next couple days. Yeah, no, it was fun. But well, I mean, that's it. thanks for coming. Go ahead, right. get yes. your truck out of there now. Yeah, those are unique. You can't just buy that can't buy that. You're, you have to get that here right. at Gladiator Steel. You have to come out, compete, and you have to lay it all down and, nice and make it work. Right. So. Thanks. Well, thanks for coming up, big guy. Thanks. You uh, Enjoy the rest of the night. I will. I know it's Halloween Havoc. I know that it's rum what you brung, but you kind of got to look at some stuff. What do you think as far as the cleanup shows back home compared to what they are here? Well, uh, you kind of say you stated a little bit like it's run what you brung, uh, where I guess our cleanup shows back home, there's a little more stipulations to that because there's a little more celebratory factor in some ways. Uh, we're here. They kind of know how they can celebrate with what they need to fix their car. And I mean, if it's something they need to fix their car, they let them fix their car and it's repaired. It's not, let's, you know, plate it from here to there. You know what I mean? Where uh, I get it and, and these guys seem to like that and and rather than run it or cut it up, they save it for a year sometimes to bring it back to this show. Um, uh, just like that guy said, he hasn't ran through 2018. Yeah, and he wasn't underbuilt. I don't think that his truck was any less. No. Like, I know it's different here. Like, we have a cleanup show back home. And, yeah, we do the limited weld part. And like you said, you got to celebrate a little bit. But these guys still kind of toe the mark. They, yeah. They only get very little more, and then... You get into the heavy class, and that's where you see the five-foot car or some, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of spindles, a lot of different takes on what people think they need to do to come out here and run that class without being a knife to a gunfight, I guess. Yep. And then uh, the pace is good tonight, really yeah. good tonight. All the guys, the the cleanup guys too. I mean, getting them out of here very quickly, getting the next group in. Yeah, it's something different when you walk when you go outside of this of the arena, and you see there's eight skid steers sitting there ready to go, two tail handlers, yep. and these guys have worked together so much that they kind of know what everybody's thinking. Yeah, they're very organized, and uh, yeah, they're taking them out the back and just you know getting ready for the next one. It's on to the next one, and we'll worry about certain things if we have time, you know, yep. out there. Yeah. And I don't know, I. It's nice to see that it has gotten chilly. I mean, it's, I'm a big guy and it's chilly and people aren't leaving. I no, no, it's just, anything. there's no wind. It's just cool, you know, the sun's down and very beautiful night. The only empty spots you see in the whole stadium are the pits, the pit bleachers. And that's just because those guys are back there getting their cars or they're helping their out. buddies or, yep. you know, they just kind of come in and leave. And now, so we got the 80s wire and the first one is going to be Josh Trigger Turnbow, but I think at the last show or the show before that, his name went from Trigger to Tigger, and the last in the wire class, he had a he had a Tigger jumpsuit and you know like them Halloween suits, yep. and then the Tigger come on there. I think he I'm looking in there. He's got it on right he now. Does he's, have got it. A, he's got yep. his Tigger suit on right now. I like it. And I think Turnbow brought two cars, but I think a buddy's running a different one. Number 17 is Quentin Smith. Johnny saying I'm all, but I'm not catching. What's this one, number 12? Number 12, Jones. Tyson Jones. And number 54, Chuck Tipton. 
in a wagon that he has way been up. I feel bad for the guy that thinks he's going to drive into that and come out <laughs> happy. A few different shades of green on there, too. Yeah. And the neat paint jobs out here. I mean, it's yeah, it's cool watching all this stuff. 7-Eleven. Jake Beckstead out of Preston, Idaho. It appears to be a Cadillac, like a 93 model Cadillac. And then we have a car that has just paint all over and I can't yeah, really I don't see tell. It. Don't see a 66H maybe? Just 6H? John Hoover out of North Logan, Utah. 62 coming in. And that could be Lane Conger out of Taylor, Utah. Then we got the minivan. The minivan is in this heat. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how he compares to these other wire cars. Now, and I was, isn't he a, a rookie driver? Very, yeah, his first, first, first time ever. Yep. Okay. 45 years old, first derby ever. Good for him, never too late. He doesn't have a name. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it says the vandalizer on the side of it, which is amazing. I love that pun. 31 is Looks like Dave it. Burns. Yep. I don't know if that's. 34 maybe, or is it one? I can't tell. Could be 34, 34 is Austin Young. I would. Got 11B. That looks like four, yeah. 11B just rolled in. 11B is going to be, oh, 113, Matthew Canton. And then you got the 04. That is Mr. Burns. That's Rowdy or Dave Burns. Rowdy Burns. Just to give you a heads up, what's happening is. The 81 one just came in. Okay, I just got word that the, the youth cars that were still available to be run, their dads are bringing them out into the adult wire class. So they're kind of splitting all the cars that could run between the two. So bear with us on that, guys. We won't have them. I do know that Rowdy and Dave Burns were in this heat together, so it's not like they joined anything. This looks like uh, 46, maybe? I couldn't see his number. I don't, know. I don't know. Put a 9C. 9C. 96. Nine. Gunner Stevenson and Puddin from Tremonton or Tremonton, Utah. And here we go. This will be, I think this is. This was the this young is lady. This Roxy Burns' car. Yep. But it almost looks as if she might Roxy be back in it. driving it again. Good for her. Because I don't think they, it might be the mom. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, that girl was straightforward. Yeah. Now the one, like 81 out there, that's Dave Burns. He's usually running a suicide and they get pretty wild. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a full arena. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they fit, filled up it quick here in the middle. They're still coming in. Yeah, and they're going to bring in 40. That was a youth car also. But I can't. I guess I'd have to go back to the youth heat. 40, Carter Wolf. That's Dave Wolf. We'll be running that one. I just don't know who'd be running Roxy Guns. Burns' this car. Oh, Mark Million would be running his boy's car, 71X. Taking a little hot lap. Yeah. I'll bet you, Mark, I'll bet you that car's been up before it's, it's done now. <laughs> Mark is no stranger to the, the impact zone. Are you ready? Tyler is ready. I think we have them all in there now. Sixteen, I think, is what we have in here. Let me hear 
Getting ready to count down. The crowd's definitely ready. Yeah. He wasn't waiting. He says, I'm letting her eat. Oh, they get on the minivan right away. Yeah, everybody's not feeling anything out, really. <laughs> I think this is one of those. Oh, yeah. Follow the circle or get the heck out of the way. Yep. Oh, are they? Oh, big hit there from Marty Million. The minivan. The minivan said to, one. Trying to keep things going. Still making shots out there. Yeah. Oh. Nate Burns is just trying yeah. to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> He's stuck on that. Stuck on a white car. I can't quite see the number. A 17 just made a great <laughs> shot. <too. laughs> I think this is one of those where. Kalen was here, he would be like, are you not entertained? Oh, yeah. There, yeah, drive him there. Oh, there was a good one. Nice one. One after the Tigger wagon. The, oh, the back end of the wagon is going higher. He's going higher in both ways, looking like a <laughs> banana. She is. You know, but it's holding up so No, nice. it is. It, it does look good. It's kind of just the front core support that tipped on him there. I, th I think the whole body's yeah. just getting ripped yep. off. I don't think that the rear frame's She's bellying right that there crazy. on that rail there. Oh, she, she jumped yeah, it underneath yeah, the door yes, hard. Yep, going. He's having a good time, though. I think that Dave Burns and Roxy's car, I don't know who's driving it or hung up there, they finally got off. Oh, here oh, comes the big, big one. Oh, oh, right up on the hump. <laughs> yep. Monster on that hit. rail, too. And they are just laying it down. So far, it's a great one. I, I don't even know who who I would recommend as a gladiator 71X right just sent another one down there on the far side of the arena. See, that'd be that Mark Million. Maybe he is our gladiator of this, of this heat. The van's still rocking too. They're still hitting him. They're trying to get him running. But... See, and then a little weird stuff like this 34 car here has one dent in it. Yeah, and the front since, end is since nice. Since it started, it hasn't. No I radiator. Mean, I don't know. I'm not saying nothing bad against him. He just, I don't think he's hit anything. But this pink car, too, I mean, we've watched it go, and it's still looking pretty good yeah, in the oh, front. He, you he know? did connect with the van. There, Roxy's car's oh, getting after it. Right, well, he hit Dave, so that's either the husband or the dad. Dave is up and going. And so down, so down, so down. A time too. A lot. So if you had something stupid happen and you yes. can fix it, it changes everything. The wagon down there is still just sky high. They got like oh, seven. Oh, I thought we were going to go over there for a second. Hey. Still going. He is just letting her go. You know, the dad, Dave Burns, is, or Dave Burns is about to eat. Oh. Dave Wolf has got her going. Uh, Just came in all over that tire. You know, I was kind of super shooting for Mark Million to get the Gladiator, but I think this is gonna go on long enough somebody else might steal it from him. This wagon. Oh, that was a good shot. Yeah, great shot. It definitely oh. did some damage on the 81. You know, I'm, I'm not sure who this wagon is, but he's kind of got my vote for, for the Gladiator. It just keeps going. Yep. And the shots he's throwing are still doing some damage. Man. Yeah. Like right there, that getting one. in under the core. Did you see it? Just yep. tear right into yep. that front suspension. 
this this black car needs to start hitting some people here pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, happen. the wagon takes oh. the dirty shots here. On the passenger rail, too. Ugh. He's sitting funny in That's... the car. Yeah. Oh, oh, fire, oh we fire. got a fire. I can't tell if it's headers, I, Yeah, though. I think his headers are just bent down towards that car. None of the officials seem to, they got a better view at it than we do. Oh, yep. It must. There's no way this big car has not. But it's the red flag deal. If it hasn't been a minute 30. Yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't really seen the pink and green car. Doing a lot of work. There's a good shot from the black Lincoln now. We got some people stuck, and that's the whole family. I can't tell if that's Roxy Burns, Dave Burns. Oh, Roxy's, Roxy's out. Roxy's free. Oh, Rowdy's going to be out now. What's going on? Serious smoke coming from there. I think it's from tires. Roxy's going to try to get her dad out now. Yep. See, and I don't. They're calling him on time. Is this in there, really? In a really. In front, his bumper's in front of that wagon's tire. Man, I just can't tell. Well, it looks like it's going to be down to. Roxy and Rowdy and the black car that... Is it 34? 34 yep. would be Austin Young. And then we got the 04 here. Three of them. Yeah, just the three. Which oh, be... going nose to nose. Oh, he dropped a drive shaft. Yep, there it is. So it'd be Rowdy Burns. Ho hopefully the other guy can Roxy. get off of him here. I think... There, I think he's off. There we go. Down to probably two. Roxy's going in for the shot on. Kill shot. 30. Oh! <laughs> yeah. yeah! What a good shot. And I don't know if that's Roxy. Yeah, or we don't know who, who it is. is. I hope it's Roxy. <laughs> we just know that it's her car. Butch has not ran yet, Daniel. This crowd's liking it. That was awesome. They are liking it. Who's running her car? I mean, that's, that's what we're saying. We don't know if it's Roxy or her family member. We'll know if she comes out guns yep. blazing. We haven't seen any hands get thrown out. Cheering. Now they're asking who it is. Sarah. Said oh, so Sarah. It's the mom. It's the mom. It's mama. It's mom. Well, good for mom. We know her daughter gets it. What a shot. So I just far. hope I just hope these two can still battle it out once they we get that one off there. See if they get the two off. That, I think that guy's got a broken tranny. Okay, the zero, the zero four. No, the the one that she rolled. Yes. Yep. I zero seen fours or some. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Rowdy Burns. Okay. Sorry, I'm not from out. Yep. Out this way. What? So that's Rowdy Burns, <laughs> and then the dad is here in this eighty one. Okay. That's I picked up that that was dad. Got it. Okay. I don't have a sheet in front of me either. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can put it in the middle, then we can both share it. We can learn. Well, it still runs. Yeah, they're. And here's the problem that they're that they're in. The sky track is blocked. Is blocked yep. by all the cars. There's no way to get anything in there to yep. pull it out. Let's get her put on. Get these on here. So to, to get started, nobody told us the, the number on your, your van, so I don't know. 12. That's 12. 12. Number 12. Forgot to 
So Put Tyson Jones? No, I'm Scott. Okay, we have, see, they don't even have it on here. Oh, there you go, Scott. Yep. Okay, what's your last name, bro? Seacrest. Seacrest. <laughs> Scott Seacrest. First time driving, 45 years old. It was crazy. Chosen minivan. And <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> as soon as the flag dropped, chaos. Right? <laughs> and you liked it. I did. Yeah? I mean, my knee hurts. <laughs> My so, neck hurts a little bit. There were some hard hits. So did everybody, like, did anybody tell you, like, somebody's coming from the back, make sure your face is straight, uh, pad your whole door on both sides? Yeah, Johnny actually came over to my house and looked over my car. To make sure? Good. Just made sure it was safe. <laughs> Seeing that there, that's, that's a big deal also, just to make sure first time you got it correct. Are we going to see a bunch more? I don't know. I, I want to. <laughs> it's all about whether or not my wife will let me keep the car because she's been looking forward to getting rid of yeah. the car. <laughs> That's always what it comes down yeah. to if the wife is going to let you keep going. But man, it was fun. Yeah, and you got it. It was you got to drive for. You were down there when there was yep. quite a few. You know, quite a few out. You were still down in that corner. We couldn't tell. What do you think happened I think to it? I took a hard hit on the front right, and I I think it mess with my wheel, my steering. Okay. Broke your CV CV axle. Shift. okay. And then I think my tires are blown too and so oh, I couldn't get moving. Engine was still running. Seven. Right. I just couldn't get out of the rut or get the wheel started. <laughs> so now you think it's something your wife would just let you scrap that one, you can start a whole new yeah, one. Yeah, now you just need to start a new one. Well I got my nephew here and he's wanting to do one, so I may help him do it. Oh there you go. Yeah. You know, even if he came back to Havoc once a year and you just bought Let's something cheap enough that you could throw it away? Yeah, to. yeah. So now, what, I, now I know what to do. So yeah, I, a little at, bit of experience. At 45 <laughs> years old, did you just wake up one day and you're like, you know what? Mom's got that minivan out Let's back. It doesn't run with the crap. I think I'm just going to crash it. <laughs> I'm 43. <laughs> oh, 43. Oh, 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 holy sorry. smoke. Sorry, I didn't mean to add so much age to you. I, it's I know all right. It's all right. When you break 40, that's that's a big deal. I did, and it, it was like, I need to start doing the things I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Right? And this is something I've always wanted to do. And so are I you, just I made it happen. Are you from Utah originally? or? No, I'm from Idaho. Idaho? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, here we go. See, now we got Sarah. This is Sarah's the son of her. Okay, oh. here we go. Nose to nose. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> didn't waste any time with it. No. You're like, and her tires are still spinning. She's like, Mom's she, tires are still spinning. Brownie's like, remember that time you took my keys? Oh, yeah. Or baby birds. I don't. I think that's it. How I think you, Mom's going to get this one. Yeah. Yeah, we just give it to Mom. Oh, she's oh, going to get out and say, no, you, I'm winning it. Yeah, now go forward. That's yep, a hit. That's a hit. Yeah, that's it, right? There that's you go. Oh, she's got to go back up more. Oh, there's no way you're not going to give it to her, guys. The car physically will not back up that far. I think that's got to be far enough. Yeah. Yes. And yep. He's, Scooter's waving his Scooter, hand. Scooter says that's enough. Yep. You know, because we do have a rule that it has oh, to be a half track. Oh. She, yep, she got it. He snapped the stick. <laughs> Good that's for it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So does your nephew have anybody else in your family in the derbies, or is this just you literally like, I'm 43, I'm doing this? I just said I'm doing it, and so, I just read the rules, So I got, did the I got, best I could. I got a question. Was it like Corvette or Mini Car to Derby? I mean, which one was Harley. that? Harley. Was it something like that? I, my wife's really good. She's really tolerant. She's like, if you want to do it, do it. I don't care, whatever. That's awesome. My, my wife is extremely tolerant also. It's just when you get into the heavier classes, that one night a week turns into 30 nights of a month. Weekends. Then, yeah, yeah, all your week, And then all your buddies, and then they have to hear about derby nonstop. Yep. We're on the phone talking about derbying. Yeah. And now. Um, so are you finally, coming, finally coming down now? Down again, down right? a yeah. <laughs> no. Tomo tomorrow morning's when you're going to kind of really feel what you got going on. Right and you'll now. watch the video and you'll be reminded why you feel. Yeah. Well, every, every, everything. I, I remember that hit. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> why it's this way. Yep. Now nope, that's definitely what you learned. Well, 
we appreciate you very hey, much. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Yeah, and congratulations. Uh, First hopefully year. see you next year and yeah. we can. Yeah, bring another one back. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, come back we'll and we'll have some fun. <laughs> thanks, bud. Thank you. Thanks, nice guys. to meet you, bud. You too. Well, that was Scott Seacrest, and he was 43 years old, first time he ever derbied in a minivan. In, in period. So let's start off. What's your name? Uh, Chuck Tipton. Chuck Rock Tipton. Springs, Wyoming. Yes, and you brought a, a, a Ford wagon. A metric wagon. Oh, a metric, GM. Oh, metric yeah. GM. My okay. bad. Yes, yep. you're it right. Was, it was a GM. I, I knew that. Yeah. Metric GM wagon that was already, you had it set up so high, just praying somebody yeah. would come into it. Yeah, it was hammered, man. I drove it a month ago <laughs> in a Wyoming show. Right? Yeah. I, and it just wouldn't stop. And then... Uh, you, you not get along with everybody in Wyoming, or I mean, I'm just gonna say it as I see it. I'm not gonna lie to you. They got me. They, they, got they, me. they not gonna lie. They definitely. Yeah, they got me. But you know, you did. You let it. It went and went. went. And when the when the pasture side rail dropped and you caught this hard one over here, I didn't know if you were coming out of it, and it just kept oh, yeah. going. Mm -hmm. No man, it it just wants to go, dude. Same same in that last show, man. I trashed it. I can't even believe we fixed it for this show. Right. We got a mad dog in the last show. I trying to get a mad dog in this show, but well, I'm not gonna say I'm not rolling over cars or nothing. That you got a mad dog, but do you know what these hats are? I do. Have you, have you heard yes. about these hats? So yeah. this is I'm gonna do the Gumby spiel. Do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these hats are not like all the rest of the hats you guys can see back here. Mine says no participation trophies. Oh yeah. This one says Benavidi Vici. The victor. Yeah. So the only people that can get these hats are the ones that come out here and they actually run and they earn this hat. Yeah. So it can't be purchased. It can't be bought. Gumby likes to call you guys the slayers of the show. Dude, yeah. And that's what you were. I love it. You come out here and you <laughs> just destroyed. So and, cool. And went and yeah. went and so went. So cool. Deserved. Well deserved. Thanks, Gumby. So. And you were but, making shots even when it was yes, a little rough. Was, you were still putting damage shots yeah, on yeah, other people. It, it just so you, know, you had to see it when you pulled away. We had you call <laughs> for, for the Gladiator. And even after Sarah rolled that car, I was like, no, dude, it's still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And it was two. Dude, so you, now you, two people have got it. You just so. got to hold it to the floor, man. Yeah. Hold it to the floor. <laughs> that, that's that, that's, 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 yeah. game that's but, the game plan. I think you might be missing some body bolts on it, though. It's stock body bolts, dude. Oh. And the well, last I'm show I run in, it broke three of them on the passenger rail. Well, you can oh. see it bowing down. <laughs> it was like that when I fixed it. They, we, we tucked it back up in there and said, let's I go. Think yeah. there's a body bolt over there, yeah. and yep. there might be one there, oh, yeah. and a couple down on the far Heck end. Heck, yeah. They can keep them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just trade them in for scrap. Yeah, yeah, right? for, sure, okay, we'll, for sure. Maybe we'll put it some more, towards some more Was hats. it still yeah. running at the yeah. end? No, it broke the distributor cap. Okay. Them two dudes smashed me into that little pile there, and it broke the cap. Okay. Well, that's an easy fix. Didn't cut fix. the hole big enough. Oh. Well, 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 when oh, they yeah. come back, yeah, they never can. Bring you know? this I thing think, back. I mean, that thing is going to the scrapyard. Oh, right, no. Come I'll on. be back in another wagon next year, though. Nice, nice. Well, well, I like them wagons. We appreciate you coming up, Mr. Tipton. And, uh, Chuck, hopefully you come back next year to more than oh, just. Yeah. No, I, I stick to a chain and bang show in Wyoming. I quit doing weld cars like six years ago. Too much time, too much money. I got a family. I like to camp. I like to. Hey, I can't understand. I, I, I did. I did the big weld there. cars for I don't know, 15 years, yep. man, and chain and bang now. Two week build. Yeah, there you Heck go. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for buddy. coming up. You earned that Thanks, hat. Buddy. Yes, Congratulations. I, did. I will. I am gonna enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. You probably can't use any of the footage from earlier, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so. Well, how about that? That was awesome. Was oh, that, my God. That was so cool. <laughs> was that your first time rolling somebody over? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, now, was it the plan, if anything was left, you were going to run, or did it just somebody throw it out there, and you're like, I'm going to do it? Well, yeah. It was just Roxy's car was still good, so Dave said, you should run, and so I did. <laughs> right. we, pulled, we pulled the front end down with the tow truck, and... It was pretty straight again, so it was good and to not, go. You know, you got so many first times here. Like, you ran with your husband and your boy. Uh, yeah, for sure. And you rolled somebody over. Yes. Yep. And you finished it nose to nose with your boy. Yeah, yeah. And that was that nice. That was awesome. Yeah, I know. That was good. Like, you legitimately won it all. Yeah. And so I have to do the Gumby thing. 
<laughs> you, we gave out two gladiator to steel hats. Right. You get one of these. Nice. So now everyone in your family that derbies, <laughs> your immediate family has one. Yeah. Your oh, husband, yeah. your boy, your daughter just got one tonight, and now you got one. Well, I guess we need a picture. That's huh? a lot yeah, of hats. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a yeah. lot of hats. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to 1099 you for the material. <laughs> but uh, the same thing, uh, this is a Vinny Vidi Vici hat. It's the victor. It's not like Mad Dog. It's something where you went out there, you didn't stop, you laid it all on line, you were not afraid. Like, um, no, let's not say I wasn't afraid. Oh, you were not I afraid. I was terrified. You, <laughs> you were so controlled yeah. in, your, in your being terrified because yeah. you were making smart hits and to watch, you know, you helped Dave out, you helped your boy out, you were doing things that you needed to do to progress in the Well, derby. I like it whenever you say it, because me, I was just like, whatever was in front of me. No, that happening. last shot, you look like a seasoned <laughs> pro. I, I mean, she yeah. lined it up and hit him right where you should. Yeah. Rolled him. Yeah, you did exactly what needed to be done. And don't kid yourself, over here, you knew it. When everybody was piled up and you got off, you knew what you needed mm -hmm. to do to continue everybody going. Yeah, so I guess that's true. you drove really, <laughs> it's, and it's not like it's you haven't been watching this forever, and yeah, right? and you lived up to the Burns name. You let it. That's, you let that it, was yep. the most important thing. I was like, oh, Rowdy's like, don't sandbag, mom. I'm like, I promise I'll try not to. Yeah, and then the finish, you know, back it up. We were nervous. We we're like, no, we don't want to tie or anything. And finally, you got away. And yes, the crowd loved that. That's awesome. Yep. I can't wait. I'm excited to watch the video. Oh, yeah. and it's gonna. Was it, awesome. it was an amazing video, and I just. Cool. I can't imagine if you would have went out there and sandbag what like dinner would have been oh, like. Oh, it would have been no, I would have never <laughs> You'd have to it move out. Yeah, you'd yeah, you'd yeah, no. Dave would have divorced <laughs> me, I'm pretty sure. He'd have been like, nah. Uh, not, very not, well could have been anymore. But this right here still had yours and awesome. it I guess it it finishes the, the Burns family. I guess, yeah, I still the deal. Right? Yeah, yeah. I did not disappoint. No, no. <laughs> like, beyond it complete opposite. It was amazing to that watch was, it. That was fun. And that we, was I will say, time. we're going to sound like fools on Gladiator because I'm like, I don't know if that's the mom yes. or if that's Roxy. We didn't know till the end. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Somebody finally said it was So, Sarah. So do we get to call you like Roland Roxy Burns now? I or? don't know. I, no, it's got to be better. It's got to be better than Roxy Guns Burns. I have to one-up her, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, so. I rolled somebody, yeah, so Roxy I feel oh. like, like so. I, I should have a little bit better. We, it'd be like you know? Sarah the Slayer. Ah, yeah, 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 I like that. I, like I, that. That I can get one, down yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. Sarah then, the Slayer. You know, yeah, then Gumby could good. like forever be like, oh, oh yeah, that's me. I call the Gladiator yep. Slayer. Yeah. So yep. <laughs> Gumby would so take that. For yep. sure, yeah. Sounds good to me. So I think that's what it's going to be from now on. Well. Thanks for coming up, Sarah. It was yeah. awesome. Sorry Thank that we did, we didn't know who it was, so we mentioned no, Roxy a whole okay. bunch of times. Oh, that's all right. And we did say if she gets out, like, you know, yeah. just flexing them up, we knew who it was. But then the yeah. announcer said that it was Sarah. So oh, cool. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, I appreciate Sarah. It. Thanks for all the support Thank with all so the much. shows. Yeah, always, for sure. you know, it's you guys always make a good sure time. and be safe. Thank you. Mr. Turnbow. How are we doing? <laughs> all right. We had to bring Josh up here because there's a long story with this one. Oh, boy. So Josh's name for years has been... Trigger. Trigger. With an R. Josh Trigger. Mm. Years? What? How many years? Since 10th grade of high school. No, but Jerry now, for how many years has Jerry been calling you oh, Tigger? For like three now, I think. So three, maybe four. Maybe four. It's Mont the, the uh, Mont Sweat. Uh, benefit Derby. That's right. So I had to get up here because I'm. Not, there's another cartoon character yeah. on here, and I <laughs> like yeah, we that. Got Gumby, we got Tigger. So, nope. Hey, great. What happened to you? Did you get stuck? Well, I just ran out of time, but I just every time I started going, I'd get drilled and just eventually timed out. I just couldn't get going. So they were hunting the tiger today, huh? That's right. The rear axle was just swaying back there, so it's well. So, so I got to finish it up. So okay. about four years ago. Jerry, out of fun, when you were checking in, started calling you Tigger. Yeah. Right? No, yeah, well, there might have been a couple of uh, adult beverages <laughs> that night. And, uh, yeah, Butch Johnson had me um, drive his truck for him in case he got hurt at that derby. And, uh, and yeah, so he got hurt. And he says, good thing I got Trigger here to drive me home. And Jerry's like, Tigger, who's Tigger? And after that, Butch put on Facebook and it blew up and it wasn't going to stop after that. And Jerry, from then on, when you registered, it's always been Tigger. We've always announced it Tigger. Played the song. Played the Tigger song. <laughs> and he finally gave in to the suit, Tigger. The car. I did the whole work for you guys. So we got to thank who was the, the finder of the Tigger suit. That was Jason Halfway. <laughs> I wonder where he found that. He must have gone to the... He's, he's in California. Maybe he, he went down to Hollywood to the sets and said, hey, I need a ticket. Or, or Disneyland. Or Skinned one of those tigers out of the zoo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
We thank you for putting on a great show this year. Uh, you. You've done really you did, well. Did you get a Mad Dog out of here this year? Uh, West Jordan, yeah. And then also at a, a Golden, the Golden Derailer. Derailer? Mad Dog in both of those. So. Well, could have pulled you, off you've, tonight, had, you've had a good year. I have. It's yeah. been fun. I drunk a lot of cars. You, you like fun. this wire class. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with the wagons, I love it. I don't know if I'll do a sedan, but I really like the wagons. The wagons. Those are fun. Yeah, I like them all. That was the, by far that was the best heat of the night. Yeah, oh, so yeah. far that was a good heat. That yeah. was wicked like good. Say, every time I turned around, I had somebody right on me. I couldn't couldn't get my bearings down, but it was still a lot of fun. Yep, it was a good job, and thank you. For, the, for it's the best part. Now you go get to eat some good barbecue and watch the rest oh, of the man, show. So good, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and have some have adult beverages had, in a little bit. <laughs> have you already had the? Bar I did. Yeah, we went and got it right before. So it is so good. You're missing out but, if you haven't been yet. You haven't been yet. <laughs> They got five more heats. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, Have it delivered. You got some pull around here. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Maybe we can do that. Yes, sir. So well, Havoc's fun. Last one of the year. Car's junk. Yep. I got my uh, my Golden Derailer car. It's coming up in two heats. I got my buddy Junior driving it. It's his first time driving. and We've had a lot of first timers tonight. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah. A lot of cars. Holy crap. Oh, man, no kidding. Yeah, it's a good time. I mean, we're, we were 130-something, and then... There's probably been six, seven cars that have run a second time yeah. over again. And, you know, we got like the Burns. That was awesome. Yeah, Burns is running great. again. We got see Mama Burns out there was awesome <laughs> to see, and then she was just laying it out good. Yeah. I was waiting to see if, if uh, um, Rowdy was going to lay a hit on her, and he <laughs> backed off a little bit. <laughs> he did the bit. smart thing. Yeah, he backed off a little bit. <laughs> That's a smart thing to do. She, who got the win? She did. She, she did, win. Yeah, yep. Yep. He she pulled, he the, pulled flag. the flag, and she yeah. took it. She. She was doing not quite. She couldn't get quite half a car length, but she was hitting them. Yeah. So, well, it, I'll tell you that. And that Chuck Timpton and T Chuck in that green flagging. wagon was yeah. Woo. flying. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he got me. Uh, he didn't see my flag was down. He got me on the passenger, and I thought I was going to go over. He made a made a heck of a hit. So. <laughs> well, what you going to do? You got any fun plans for the off season? And probably just relax. I'm getting to be an old man. I need to relax a little bit. You know how it is. Any any shout outs? Anybody you want to say hi to or thanks to or? Um, got a couple of sponsors, Derek and Randy Bear for doing my tires all the time. So they're my biggest sponsor and always have been. So Bear Tire, what's the name of the? Randy Service Tire. Randy Service. I all think, right. Uh, thank you know we'll thank him too. You know it's. You need, it's, you need to get the Hogle Zoo to sponsor you. Yeah, probably. I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, you've got some footage you can use, and we'll let you use it. There you go. <laughs> we'll use whatever we can do to get a sponsor. I can use a couple of those. You know, people over in Australia are watching you right now, and yep. Germany. and Germany. Germany. Nice. We're going to blow you up. <laughs> well, build me a car. Get me out there. I'll let right, right. drive. <laughs> well, again, thank you, and wish you the best off season, and hope you have a – We'll see you tonight for a little uh, adult's beverage. There you go. All right. All right. Everybody. And I'll help you get back to your car because I won't be participating. I can't either, unfortunately, but I wish I could. Well, appreciate it. Have a great evening. Thank you. Party on, brother. Thanks. So in this heat, we have Chris Shaver or Shower from Caldwell, Idaho. Colin Smith, car 32 from Grantsville, Utah. 413, Drew Tubbs from Hooper, Utah. 707, Jacob Hathaway from Hinkley, 57, James Stransky from Rock Springs, Wyoming, 2, Jeremy Walsh from Camas, 36, Caden Young from Rollins, F2, Mark Rummel from Camas, 132, Matt Murky from Tooele, 52, Raf, Ralph Tipton from Rock Springs, 90, the aforementioned Scott Kuzmal from Paradise, Utah. 73X, Sean Agostini from Rock Springs. 58, Tyler Martin from Rock Springs. 777, Jonas Johnson from Grantsville, Utah. 22, Easton Burdine from Twilla, Utah. And we have Hoover left over from last heat. And is that Tyrell, Tyson Jones? Yeah. Tyson Jones. For well, yeah, and I think uh, I think one of them ran in the last. Ralph Timpton, I think he was the one in the green wagon. I think he actually ran in the last heat. Oh, so he may not be coming in this one. I don't think he's coming to All this. Right. It's good. We have enough. You've got some dads bringing youth cars out. Correct. So 
that's one of the things we do at this show is if you are in the previous heat and your car doesn't get junked and you like want to Hoover. move up, you can move up. And it's, it's mostly about trying to finish these cars off so you don't have to store them all winter. Wives get a little mad with these things laying around the yard. Other than your wife, she lets them stick around the yard for quite a long time. It's because they're always in the shop. God, that's a lot of cars. Yeah, they're like, where can I fit? Where can I fit? That was a monster head. That tipped him. His, his axle's not broken. That's the toughest it's axle on a bone stock car ever. Oh. Oh, that was a nice little jump head. You know, Scott, who's in the points running, he's still out there and his car looks great. He's got to win a Mad Dog and a first place. Yep. We were just talking about the points and that where it was going and how this has come down to the last race again two years in a row. Yeah. Yeah, the first place is six grand in this points race. You know what's three, got three grand and fifteen hundred. But then every driver that participates, we've got uh, sixteen, seventeen thousand in prizes that we're giving away. Yeah, trade motor, another trade motor, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that. That's Scott too. Yeah. So he needs to lay up. So he, he's getting down to the final six. So he's got a chance there. Now he's got a. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh goodness. I, I think nice. you know who's getting one. Yeah. That was nice. I don't know if I've really seen anybody that just. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, but he's already got one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way to go, Dave. You know, I love watching the Burns. And whenever I was driving against the Burns, it was one of those situations that you, you just always had one eye. 
Oh yeah, you better have you better have your head on a swivel. Because even on accident, he's going so fast he catches you. Oh yeah, and he don't care. Yeah, yeah. Now I mean, he's gotten smarter, and now Rowdy is son that drives like he used to. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. You know, just like <clears throat> Sarah when she got that Gladiator steel hat. Since uh, Roxy got hers tonight, the whole family has one. So. She said her name is now Sarah the Slayer. Yeah, Sarah the Slayer. We we tried to come up with it up here. Get a new can of air there, Jake. Good job, guys. It's the strongest officials in derbies anywhere. Look at Cody just grabbing a girls. You know, and as frustrated as my wife was, I said, that, just let these guys run to finish cars off. That's what this is all about. Yeah, that's what the uh, Halloween Havoc is literally all about. Yeah, but no, no, no. There, now I got it. The last go. charger said nine hours to charge it up, so yeah, we don't put a fast that. one on it. That's how I get all the comments from everybody. I turned mine on, but I think mine's dead too. You know, so far, even this heat, a lot of them, like you said, were done right away. Yeah. Because they, they got stuck, but I just don't know who I would necessarily give Gladiator too. Oh. <laughs> I love how the crowd loves the radiators. And that's what's fun about this wire class because you can hear Yes, everything. everything. That's what we discussed at the first for the youth wire class with no headers. Everybody keeps wanting headers, but it would take some of the fun away of this class. And, and it was a lot of it was due to the money because we, we wanted to keep it a pure, the, you know, the pure side of it, but also keep it you don't want them to go out and buy $300 headers. And right. Get them. And it's nice because the, the guys don't necessarily worry too much about money like the the blue and red car. Again, it was a Walsh when he ran mini, when he ran the Wire Madness. But that's got some aftermarket, just aluminum five-star wheels on it. Yeah. Is Koo, is Koo still running or is he out? I didn't see. He was still running. It's going to be, got to keep an eye on him because he's. No, I, he must be hung up somewhere or not running. Oh, he's stuck over here. He, get, he ended up getting himself stuck. Uh oh. That could change things because he's fighting yeah. for that he's, third he's place. He's trying. He's, he's hung up on the 22 car who happens to be stuck. So that put him in fourth. And I just don't think that'll be enough. Well, unless it's a one and done, so there's no points in fourth place. No. So it's only third place. So he had to make at least third to get a jump up there. So he got. He got his nine. That's it. And that's and Bronson Maybe. got his nine. So there's no way to, unless for some reason Bronson wasn't able to come out. And I still don't think nine points would. No, I. So now it's between Larry and Bronson, correct? Well, there's no way if Bronson could win, get Mad Dog everything, and he still wouldn't catch Larry. Okay, so so the real chance is Larry Ty and Larry Tripler. Larry Ty and Tripler. So we're, we're which is going to be rough. The cars that are here in heavy. Oh, if he does do it, he earned every inch of it. There are some nasty, nasty heavy cars. Yes. And yep, see nine points. Even if Bronson wasn't able to make it on the track, he would not be able to beat Bronson. <laughs> that's that's the way to end it. You know, 32 has been doing a really good job. Yes, I think if we were going to give a gladiator, where'd my sheet go? Unless my, you got my yellow shoe there. Oh, sorry. 32. Colin Smith. Should we give Colin? I think Colin Smith, yeah. I mean, he's been driving the wheels off that thing. And his brother Quinton's put on a hell of a show all year, too. <laughs> oh, he 
He's just Jake. Jake. 32. When this is over. When he's when it's over, bring him up here. I think Colin's car died. Let's see if we can get it going. Not Drew Tubbs. Not a Hooper, Utah. That's a local boy. It's right down the street. He earned it too, because they he was the guy over here getting beat on. Yep. He took the big shot from Burns. Yep. And Kuzmal and this Jones here. We'll let him get his trophy and his picture and then we'll bring him yeah. up over here. You know, and sometimes that's a catch 22 to keep beating on him because he might just be yeah. the hit that needs to fire you it up. You might get stuck. But you might get him stuttered. And Let him get his trophy first. Yeah, so far, this has been great. All right, guys, here in a second, I'll be back on Facebook to be able to answer some of your questions that have come up. Which Facebook you been on? I haven't even looked at mine. Gladiators and Steel is what I've been watching. I had to turn mine off because everybody wanted tickets. And I'm like, I'm done. We're sold <laughs> out. We're sold out a week ago. Yes, for anybody that's not familiar with coming out to Utah, Buy enough tickets, call, make sure you got the right tickets. Read your emails. Yes, read your emails. <laughs> okay, I, you know, this is just a little something. Even w when you drive a Stern Dirt show. Johnny is surgical with his emails. And all the information's out there for you, and I and I, I try and get as much out there because it's a lot to cover. I mean, there's, there's a lot going on. You, know, you promote, you know. Yeah, and I try and do the best thing I can, you know, between hotel options and um, the show, what's going on, where it's at, you know, what you're getting, what to expect, what you're going to need to bring if it's raining, you know. I, I, yeah. I, I kind of give all that information constantly, and I get guys that are just what email? Yeah. <laughs> or guys that are like 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 Larry? Yeah, I, Larry's horrible with emails. That's why when we did the Vegas stuff, I was the captain because I read the emails and we were good. <laughs> right, we'll I wonder who they there. gave the other Mad Dog to. Let's see if we can get Gumby here. Gumby! Mr. Hopalong. <laughs> you know, he's done so good today. Last year, I can remember we almost had to load him oh in the car. God. We kept him on a four-wheeler this time. Yes. That yeah, helped out a lot. All right, now we'll get this cluster done, and then we're off to, what do we got next? Medium? Oh, medium. Yeah, medium. David Sullivan, no, Vegas. Vegas is an option, but it's, the option of it is so far gone. We need a hundred thousand dollars sponsor for that one. Yeah. So if you know anybody who wants to sponsor hundred thousand dollars, we'll we'll do this again. Vegas will happen again. The problem is is is, is um I got a bunch of dirt in the damn tea. <laughs> it's a good thing you're well, wearing overalls. If you weren't smiling ear to ear out there. Nice run, brother. That was a fun one. That was fun. Good job, big guy. Thanks. What, did, what did just, just overheat on you? Well, right there at the end when. Or did you destroy, put the motor into the firewall? <laughs> no, I think it broke the starter because I just, I got nothing. Ah. You know that's a big deal on the Fords when they push it, it'll yes. break the starter. And I'm, last year in my wire cars, I with the bubble Vix, I cut the cross member out or the engine cross members, right. give you room for the starter. Right, right. But this one is the starting solenoids up on the firewall. Right. So I didn't cut it out. Didn't think I needed to, but I'll be honest with you. I, I'll give a shout out to Gumby because I think that's what happened. He told me, make sure you cut that cross member. <laughs> yeah. And you didn't. And I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. 
But it ran through West Jordan. It went through the heats in West Jordan and into the main. And But I'll tell you what, it's different. I ran that whole one with a, a wire. Wire. With a bolt on the end for my throttle. That's old school. Yeah. It, and shifting at the same time oh yeah. and braking at the same time. Yeah. And, and it doesn't relax, and so it stays throttled up. You throw it in gear. And oh, we used to do that. I mean, that was standard procedure. Was you, it? you always had a wire on the carburetor because yeah, we never had gas pedals. Yeah, yeah. And you'd it either push in and you'd, you'd lose, lose it, yeah. or it snap. Gotcha. And we always, I mean, I, I had setups already made. Nine times We'd, out of ten, it'd push in and you'd lose it. Maybe. Yeah. I take my bailing wire, I do a twist on it. On it's the carburetor, bring it back, exactly, put my bolt on it. It's exactly what I did. It happened after the first heat in West Jordan. I, I literally used to make like two or three of them and keep them in my truck yep. when guys would do it. Oh, I lost them. Here, here you go. go. Here you go. Yeah. But the reason we brought you up here. Awesome. Vinny Vitti Vici. I, I the only place you're going to get I love it, baby. It. Thank you very much. Gladiator of Steel. There you go. I'll wear it proudly. Oh, man, I don't have to go through that spiel every time. I have been seeing Gumby's spiel every time. Oh, let's hear it. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's hear okay, it. Sal I, breaks, I, <laughs> Sal breaks down. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> Cause they, all right, Mr. Smith, this is Gladiator's Steel hat. You can see that this one is special. <laughs> see? It, mine, mine here says <laughs> no participation, no participation trophy. But this one says, and then he always has to go back and be like, because he doesn't remember. Vinny Vici, the Victor. Yeah. No. Now I came, this, I saw, yeah, I conquered. And then he goes, I came, I saw, I conquered. He goes, now you don't know. Not everybody can get this, but you know, we feel that you are out there. What, what, where do you think a gladiator is? <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on. Let me think, because he says what it is. Someone that goes out and fights. Leaves it all on the line. May lose, and, and, but, but yeah. yes. We call it a slayer. A slayer, a slayer goes there out go. there, which we, we branded Sarah the Slayer Burns tonight. Yes, she was rocking she, it. She finished the whole family. Now the whole family has one gotcha, of these. Gotcha, gotcha. But now we got to say, you know, you did that for us. You right. went out there. You left it all out on the line. So this is yours. Now, you cannot. No, he doesn't oh, give it, it to him. He doesn't give it oh, to him. I don't get it yet. I don't now, get you it yet. Cannot, you cannot go up and buy this for twenty dollars. <laughs> this has to be, which now I'm not taking away from it, but like I just thought I had to go through the spiel. But no, hey. you earned it. You did great. But I'll be honest with you, that right there is even better. My son that runs it, Quinn, Quentin, hurt his shoulder tonight. He's got that tattooed. Really? Oh, nice. So even better, even That's awesome. better. That's awesome. So, hey, you guys Thank put you, on sir. an awesome show. Go eat some barbecue. Did you already eat barbecue? I already got mine. All right, you going to yep. stick around for a beer we or two? We might stick around for a little bit. All right. We still got an hour and a half drive. Oh, so. Thanks, Colin. Thanks for coming. Hey. Thanks for doing what you do. You guys put on a hell of a show. Good job. Thank and you. And you guys tonight? I said them. You had it's to put me. it together tonight. Oof. I'm telling you. Every 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 email, up. every email I kept my, getting. My I wife was like, yelling at me. She says, they keep bringing in cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just, yeah. just go with it, baby. Yeah. No, you guys, thank you very much. It's a, well, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. And you be, and you be we'll, careful we'll be on your ride home. Yeah, I'll give you a caller. Thanks again. All right, here we got Limited Weld coming in. Limited Weld A, we call it the medium. 26X Kelton Coons from Millville. 53 Quarry Heights from Rock Springs. I'm trying to see this kid here. I know it is Alex Baker. Yep, Mr. Alex Baker. 469X. He's the one that you, it's a, it's one of my least favorite cars to ever run in a derby. It's like a 74 to LTD. He called the other day, he says, can I put nine plates on? I said, well, I said, I'm never going to give you permission yeah. to go over. If he would have really known what the rules are here. Yeah. 26 next is Kelton Combs. And then we have 23, which I don't think that Turnbow's driving that. No, Turnbow's friend is driving that. J.R. Ellerton? Yes, that is correct. Ellerton? Ellerton? That is correct. Then we have one of the most interesting four by fours we got here. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be aggressive. I think so. I think they're going to let them eat till they can. Here we go. Off to a good pace. Oh, oh, John Williams just took a nasty shot on the passenger. Oh. Number 
53. Corey Hyacin. Oh, 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 that was a big jump. Well, I'm a little coded over <laughs> here. <laughs> well, that knocked my phone over, and that was good. Hey, we are part of the heat. Yeah, so far we're doing great. These cars are running hard. Yes, they are. Oh, 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 here we go. oh. Oh, oh nice that's hit. just... Oh, look at how hard this car jumped in front of the tires. He'll temper. Oh. He must have took a wicked shot we missed. Oh, we got... Jord, Greg Jord is hurt over here. It's hard when you take those side shots and those guys put those center bars so high. Oh, I'm not a fan of the center bars. The last time I drove, I broke my ribs and everything with the high center bar. Yeah. That's why I say I'm, I can't go out. I got to drive at least one more show because I can't go out driving an 89 Lincoln. I have to go out <laughs> driving an Impala or a wagon. Right. Well, we're all here's to hoping that he does, that he's okay. Maybe he just got shook up a little bit. You know, those are usually let him sit he's there for a minute, catch your car. breath. Good job. Yeah, he's not feeling too well. You can see he's holding his side. Yeah. Then we have EMS over here getting ready to check him out. And they're right there on the spot. And the little young boy's like, sir, are you okay? <laughs> that is awesome. How did that feel? <laughs> At this point, he's going to be, son, don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Still a lot of good looking cars, so. Says somebody was talking about how Demolition Derbies was born because of NASCAR. Yeah, I know. Ru Rubbins Racing, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. I agree. But I, I used to be a NASCAR fan, and I'm going to say it's now surpassed NASCAR in excitement. Still tempered, you know, but what he's got, he's just letting it eat. Number 53 car. Also doing a really good job. Oh, he just got stuck. Got a head gasket or some rings gone. That one's pushed on the left front really bad and it's pinned up against the firewall. And oh, you don't want to do that. Oh, it's. Yeah, he's definitely lost a head gasket. Yeah. It's about to start talking to him. Oh, he's got to put a steering wheel back on. What a show, though. Everybody's still getting with it. Oh, that was a... I don't know if i call that a door shot or not there. I missed it. 17 took a pretty good one. Oh, Cody hitting with the front tires. Oh. Blowing it, we blow a head gasket. You just gotta make sure you keep pushing all that water out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Jeez. He's got a healthy motor under there. Yeah, he does. You're like, well, this winter's gonna, there goes Christmas for the kids. <laughs> Randy just went out. Oh, no, there's. Yeah, he's blowing. It's coming out of every side of the headers, in between the block yeah. and the heads. And... That looks an issue for any wise. I, I mean, I know he's probably gonna get mad though, but he's, Kind of got my vote for Gladiator, too. Oh, he 
might have just hung himself here. I don't know that he's actually hit anything, Gumby. Which guy? Uh, uh, Lee Spring Ford. He's just kind of doing a whole lot of rounds. Hey, there's all-star styles of drivers. I agree. And I always say, if you see a driver driving, doing yeah. that, it's really your responsibility to yeah, get after him. He's like, darn it. That's good sportsmanship. That's right great there. sportsmanship. <laughs> but if you go back and walk it again, <laughs> hey, you're like, hey, I already did it once. Unless he doesn't have reverse. Oh, he's, hey. he's just having a tough time with his shifter. There's oh, no way that was a minute and a half, but I like it. It is what it is. Okay, it comes down to the the, the four-wheel drive against the boy. He, One to watch. Yeah. All that car just. Yeah, he's not winning a lot of brownie points. Guys, I don't even know what to say. This one. That's a rough one. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's who. <laughs> Car number 53 is in third place. Yes. 426, Dustin. Just the shops, the champs. Or Well, the crowd's not really happy with him. And your other bad dog in 44 inch, the Rossi 12 in Thomas Ice. Who is the. Oh, look at all the officials, like. Oh. I sure hope they're not saying anything because it's not their right. I will tell you. I agree. They should have called him out long before if that was the case. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, if the official, if you don't do something during the heat, you, you do. Know, the, you know, we mentioned it how, how early on in the heat, and they could have caught it and didn't catch it. But that's part of it. So the next one, Trace Jensen, Anthony Tripler, Braden Deschamps, Butch Johnson, Edwin Hanford, Corbin Osborne, Matt Petro, Rich Pedorf, Taylor Sweet, Zach Carter, and Nathan Chapel. Yeah, you got a chance to watch a couple pretty good heats there. Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely picking up as as the classes get a little bigger, it gets a little faster, a little harder. Definitely a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can just see when you hear the gasp of the air getting knocked out of you. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like that shot down here, where that guy he had to go sit with the kids. You know, I don't want to talk yep. right now. <laughs> yep. Nope. Every, everyone's been there once. You know. Um, the other thing, uh, what was I going with this? They. Uh, they're definitely picking up the pace, but uh, I don't know if that's because it's getting later or if that's just how it works. They want to finish off yeah, those cars. I, I really, I don't, I don't know if, like how that's going for them in the back there. Yeah. I've talked to some of the guys in the heavy, and they're like, they're excited. They're you know pacing around like hey, we're ready to go. You know. Oh yeah, it's uh, definitely got some. When you got ten heats in your last two, it's like it's a, and you've been here since noon or yep. one. That is a long sit around. It is a very mentally draining thing for some people too. I personally like to get heat one or two, get it out of the way. Even yep. if you don't win and you're just loading it up, I, I'd rather sit back and relax the rest of the night. Yep, and watch everybody else. And no, I, I will tell you, right at those wire, those wire cars really started the aggression, and then it's just <laughs> moved on. I hope it keeps this picking up, you know. This next heat is going to be a very good one. There's some very, some of the best Utah drivers are in this okay. next heat. Um, actually, the points leader of Sterner point leader is in this heat. All right. He is not claiming this heat show as a points because he's already filled up all his spots. Wow. But he was actually just here seeing if, you know, he got in with some other points people to just help buffer. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. This was Edwin Hanford driving oh, yeah. Papa Hanford's car from the from the derailer show, car number 21. It says car number seven, but it is Edwin Hanford. He definitely seems a little amped up. Yes, he is. <laughs> Next one is car number 795, Butch Johnson out of Millville, Utah. This car has been around since the days of the Salt Lake County Fair in West Jordan. It has been around for a good eight to 10 years. He has not driven it. He parts it in mothballs for about eight or nine years. And just wanted to get it back out, huh? Yep. Uh, car number 83, Rich Pot Potorf Potorf. Okay, from Pocatello, Idaho. Idaho, I know I ruined that. Car number nine. Nathan Chappell from Morgan, Utah. Now I will say the last time I got knocked out, I got knocked out, nobody saw it. I woke up and I saw a car coming and I was, everything was black and I grabbed the steering wheel like, oh! <laughs> I, at least I figured out where I was at that, quick. That helps. Car number seven. F oh, 54X. Zach Carter from Smithfield, Utah. I don't. See, I could not see the number on that white one that just pulled in. I'm sorry for the family. If you want me to announce the name, I just couldn't see it. Car number 44 or 416. You got to put bright numbers or contrasting numbers. Car number 46. Fresh car. Matt Petro from Payette, Idaho. Car number 007, Corbin Osborne from Payette, Idaho. This looks like the 87? 87, Bronson Twitchell from Smithfield, Utah. He is currently in third place in the point system. Car number 31, Anthony Tripler, both one from Benson and, and 87 is from Smithfield. 
31, uh, Anthony Tripler is leading the Stern Dirt Racing points race going into this show. 416. 416 is Braden DeChamp, DeChamps from Malad, Idaho. Is that X7? X7, I believe. It yes. is Trace Jensen from North Ogden. All right, and there's at least one more coming. We have 12 cars in this heat. What's crazy is you go to a lot of shows anymore, and there's 12 cars showing up for the exactly. whole event. Yep, yep, and it's done. It's done. All right, we got the. We'll tra trio this one. And we have oh the other one, the car that came in, the white one, is Taylor Sweet from Slaterville, Utah. Okay, so that is the family. We know Taylor. He just got white and barely nothing on it where you can see. Mm -hmm. So is there a Roofstein rule in Utah? We usually require one somewhere we missed one. Okay. That's not what he's asking. <laughs> <laughs> he's asking if there's a size limit. Okay, and Sean Stevenson from previous heat is coming back in there. Jerry's probably like, close the gate before nobody else can come in. What are you pointing at? Is that some form of sign language? That's a hundred percent. Is there going to be a your number one sign language going on here pretty soon? <laughs> there might be a you and Shane get to <laughs> podcast the heavy hitter or heavy B feature. If you go out there and do it, I won't say anything. <laughs> Here we go. Should be a good one. All right. Ooh, that was a rough first hit oh, on a yep. fresh car. Yep. Nice All right. Right. Definitely trying to lay the wood down here pretty yeah. good. Oh, man. This little pink Cordoba, I think he's got it going. Hard as it'll go. Oh, good shot there in the little pink car. He's up. A lot of good shots. Adam Silas, it'll be on YouTube probably in a couple days after they do all the editing. Yes. Yep, afterwards they go through. Oh, 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 big oh, 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 Steve right had, front, to, yeah, had right, to go over the rail. Right in front of the official. That is a horrible hit to take on any car when you're up against the bird. Oh, yeah. It's not good for anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is another one of those heats. There's a lot of gladiators, but I don't know who to give it to. Butch just went nose to nose with Tripler and that pointy, and it literally broke his front bumper in the middle. Tripler's not careful. He's stuck. He's up on Hanford. There we go. Comes a big shot. Oh, oh, he, oh, oh he missed. Oh, oh, oh yes. over. Yep. Hey. Oh, oh and there runner. is some crowd over there changing oh, their shorts yep. now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. He's waving to the driver. Here, come hit me. Another good one. Oh, he pissed. Hanford's like, okay, it's on now. That was a doozy of a shot. 
And you know what I think what was happening there? I think Tripler was looking at it saying, okay, I have a friend in the points race and I'm gonna try to eliminate the best possible car. Watson is doing really good. Yes, he is. Yeah, he seems to be really driving and picking his shots. I mean, he's not going to get the Mad Dog like he needs, but... He got a fire in this pink car over here. Sent her a little too hard there, bud. Yeah, I'm wondering how the 46 missed that shot there. I don't know what She's happened. Coming in around the corner yep. too hot, just sliding. Yeah. It's soft dirt. You're gonna yep. slide. Right. And I guess when your adrenaline's too going, <laughs> you're like, ooh. <laughs> well, these K rails, they'll jump you right up on them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially in sideways like that. And that's one of those mid 70s Buick Regals. So you know that S curve is ugly right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he took that nasty shot. He was already up against it. And Bronson come and sent it on him. That didn't help. Yeah, those F curves are not loving him right now. But they're the ones that have got those high dollar truck pull motors yeah. in them. So they got so much power, they, you know, you can't control them going nope. around the corners. Yeah, he re Butch Johnson's bumper got inverted the opposite way. <laughs> Bronson got Tripler out of his being stuck. Only for Bronson to get stuck. And Tripler's gonna get himself stuck again. Hanford is now stuck over there. Oh, there you go. Hey, Butch, Butch got Hanford out. The X7's losing a tranny. Think in reverse. Good shot. There, there he goes and puts. Yeah, they're both. Tripler and Bronson have worked very well together. Yep. Kind of right back to that same spot where he's having trouble, though. Yeah. It's like you stay out of this area. Yep. coming down to some smart drivers. You know, Bush is a great driver. I'm not 100% sure who's rocking 83. You know, sometimes when you see a lot of crazy driving for a while, it's also great. Oh, that's a good nice shot. Hit. It's good to see a little bit of strategy and yeah. thinking, too. I like to see, you know, I, if I don't want to eat four courses of meatballs. I want to see, oh, good <laughs> shot. Good right, shot yeah. right in the corner. Oh, a little redemption there. Oh, yeah. Definitely doesn't seem to be too much love there. No. What's going to happen is you're going to see Bron Anthony is going to sit on that car, spin, get him stuck, eliminate yep. another car. Because he's here, which is smart. You know, if you've got friends, you can use your friends. Mm -hmm. And all that now, what Bronson has to do is he has to keep Butch from getting hampered out. And we got Max. 
Hernandez in the 83. And the guy that normally drives it broke his wrist at State Fair. So this is his buddy driving the car. Yeah. I like the game of chess. It's yes. sort of fun to see. Oh, that might have hurt wrong. No, you didn't get hung up. You know what's going to happen is these two guys are going to fight it out. Yep. This Lincoln's going to... Yep. Max Hernandez is going to sneak it in for a win. And you can hear he's got a motor under there. Yeah, he does. So, that's the fun game of chess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't get on it, you know, unless he has to. They're calling Tripler out. Yep. The Tripler hamper or not. Oh, oh, that car is getting stubby. Hit, hit with the front tires. Yep. It did not like that. Butchie boy might have done himself in there. Lost the tranny. I think 83's got him hung in the back. Oh. And he's going to sit on it because that's, frankly, the best points he can get. Yep. I don't think that he earned a, I don't think Bronson earned a mad dog. I don't think so, but I, there was some good driving out yes, there. Yes, some very good yep. driving. Bronson drove extremely smart. Yeah, they definitely had a little more plan in this heat where what they wanted to do he gets, finish. He gets 17, but I, he, he guaranteed, you know, what would have been interesting is if uh, well, I think 90 he gets, he gets in 20 the points. fourth place, 90, yeah. it would have won his heat. This would have been a huge win, Brett, because it might have shot him back up into third. Yeah, I think Bronson gets 11 or 20 points now, 11 for the win and nine for the show. Yeah, so that's 20. So that brings them up to 229. Yeah. Switchy, when uh, Kuzmal, Kuzmal got fourth, he pretty much locked it. All places are locked in except for first and second. And I just, I'm not saying Larry can't do it, but a first, and a mad dog in the heavy class is going to be a little rough. Yeah, that's going to be a big hill to climb. Edwin does his normal get on the top of the car and cheer to get the crowd going, which is awesome to see. He loves being aggressive. You know, that's a that's very. I love that. I mean, I really like seeing that chess game. Oh, super smart. And yeah, off. Hanford's car is awesome. His dad build, knows how to build a 63-64 uh, New Yorker very, very well, and I doubt it's hurt. That car will be back running around playing next year. As usual, the showman of shows. He loves to put on a show. Boy, the front end of that Chrysler is tough. Oh, it hasn't even budged. Oh, yeah. I know. We could tell. <laughs> you know, that hit you did into the back, I was like, that's never a good hit, but it didn't look like it moved. No, I, actually, it's all sheet metal. I looked at the frame. Yeah, it's look, still out there. I seen they push the sheet metal. Yeah, but the rest looks good. Yeah, Tripler uh, cleared it. So yeah. I will tell you, the Hanfords know how to build a 63-64 Newport, New Yorker. <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, they're definitely an underrated car for sure. You know, it's the only thing that's really un about those is the ball joint issues and, and certain stuff like that. But if you can solve those, that they're oh, a great car. Absolutely. Yeah, you drove one well of a great heat. Oh, I had a blast out there. I don't know how you couldn't. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. That was that was actually a pretty aggressive, and, and as we were talking, there was a lot of chess matches going on out there, oh, too. There, there was. You could see two or three working with two or three, and it was like, ah, there's been some conversation out in the pits today. Oh, yeah, you got to expect it, though. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, the politicking is just, it is what it is. But it was for completely different reasons. One one group was trying, you know, to push the points for the point system. Yep. They were trying, to, and then you guys 
you can tell you and Butch were working together pretty good there. And yeah. I was like, hey, this is awesome. Well, you know, when you show up to a derby and your cars are painted the same color, you yeah. got to kind of hey. stick together. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's just, what it was. It's just predestined, you know. Yeah. It was like, okay, subliminal. Yeah, so. But have you? did you win one of these at the last show? I did not. Well, what is a gladiator to you? Gladiator's one that fights and is willing to make it work no matter what. Yep, and I call it a slayer. Well, you definitely are considered and have been for years and years a slayer, somebody that lays it out, puts it out well, on there. Well, you know what? Honestly, to me, a lot of people money drive, but to me, seeing all these fans stand up when you lay one good hit on it. It feels so much oh, better. Oh, absolutely. It feels so much better. Well, these hats are designed, and we when we got these hats, um, we didn't want them to be the same as the one that I'm wearing. It says no participation trophies. We wanted them to say something that only we're going to be given to drivers to earn it. And it says Vinny Vitti Vici, which means I came, I saw, and I conquered. And it also says the victor. You truly were the gladiator of that heat. and want to congratulate you on behalf of gladiators of sales and say great job. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, you are. It's her. always Thank great you. to see you out here Thank running. Thank you. Yeah, you let her eat. Good job. Thank you. Have a great evening. You and too. look forward to seeing you next year. Absolutely. <laughs> Boy, you can it, see the S-curves. It pushed hard. The S, <laughs> the <laughs> S curves. good things. <laughs> oh, oh. That, and it's almost, it's not, it's just, it sucks to see a car fresh come into something and leave like that. That yeah. makes it a little rough. You know, oh, they're going to give Edwin Han Hanford got the other Mad Dog. Oh, I think he deserved it. Yeah, he's. You know, when you, when you actually strive for that that job, and your whole position is going out there and putting on a show, you get a lot more atten people eyeballing you because you right. know exactly what you're going to get when you pull out in the arena. And Edwin has done a very good job throughout the years of being a Mad Dog. And they built some nasty cars. He's the one that at the, were you you were here for derailer, were you not? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. He I'll had that one. nasty caddy. Oh yeah. And he didn't bring it because he goes, it's not even hurt. Well, he says, it, yeah. I'll save it for next year. That's it. You know, I actually talked to him out there, in the pits, and he said the same. He's like, you know, Will, there's just so much left. And I said, I wouldn't have brought it. You know, this. I mean, this is a run what you brung, but it's a cleanup show. This is this, this is Utah's cleanup show. And when you have something that nice, it'll walk right into Stir and Dirt shows next year. Why? Uh, yeah, the money's too good at the, during the regular year. Yeah. And, you know, and as well built as that car was, <laughs> I mean, that was the class. Of the, oh, that, yeah. That was the class car of that whole show. Yeah. And then I think the other Mad Dog went to that pink Cordova. Wouldn't have surprised me. And, yeah, he was letting it eat as much as he possibly could. Is this Werner here? Yeah. This yeah, is, he this was. Oh, that car's nasty. Yeah. Oh, there. There's a whole lot of nasty ones. This was one of those caddies. Yeah. Yep. I told uh, Tom Russells who built the car, and I said, you can't let Jesse run it without the turnout. <laughs> like, it's not even going to look right. Whose car is this? Uh, Tom Russell built it. Oh, oh. Like ben, Tom, ben, Tom ben Brothers. Ben Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, Tom Russell's in here, too. He's the next car coming out. Bent Brothers. Yeah. Great, fun-loving oh, guys. Look at how much they're bouncing. Yep. Heavy. Bent brothers. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, they're going to circle them? Rodeo start here. Fifty six. I'll read it, Eater. Evan Boyer. This is a stacked heat. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the Boyers build cars. Yep. Jeff Boyer. The first minute of this heat is going to tell you a oh, whole lot. Oh, it's going to be wicked. <laughs> it's who pisses who off and yep. who says, oh, you're against me. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we got, is that Brittany Whiting in the seat? That is Brittany Whiting. Yep. 
And the caddy, that thing's not hurting the front. No, it looks good. We got number five, which is Anthony Sargent. Which I'm super surprised to see Anthony Sargent at a Stir of Dirt show. They've actually started to temper down. Tyson Daly. I think they're starting to figure out that we really honestly don't there's only, care. There's only nine. Only nine of the 11 in here. Oh yes, the Imperial could not come out. Oh, yeah. I guess this is it, nine cars. That's still a rough this nine cars. This is gonna be yeah. rowdy. Hey, Jake. First 60 seconds. What a meat, boys. They're feeling things out. What's yeah. happening? Kind of going to see who's going to hit who, I guess. Who's on? Who's on? Who's throwing the ball? Oh, that was a good hit, Reed. Oh, here we go. Oh, that did some damage. And this is where the Nebraska comes in. Watch. Reed is going to just work it. These two caddies are really working together, too, though. Yeah. Oh, great shot on Boyer there from the 44. He's backing up again. And he's going for it again. Right oh. into him. That did not fare well for. Oh yeah, that that car lifted there. Boy, I I will tell you. Looks like Larry and Anthony got something going on. Oh, that was a bad driver's door from the way it looks. Who got the door? Looks like Russell may have caught Evan Boyer. Did they break his flag? No. No. Not, not that I see. Still looks like everybody's in, right? Yeah, I don't think anybody's broke their stick yet. Right now, I'm looking. Oh, he's leaking gas or something. Anthony Sargent might be. If it's they run, they run a water cooler in there though. Oh, they run a lot of ice. Leaking. They're an ice cooler style group.
Larry seems Larry, to get well, he's going to pay her back. She yep. got him good, so. Booyah! What a wicked nice. hit. I'm going to tell you, as you're probably watching points, those two caddies. Oh, oh man. 56, 44, the two Bent Brothers cars and oh, the 44. Oh, they just did that. Tom Russell is not giving up on that board. Oh, oh man. man, down in the corner down there. Wow. And Werner, look what he's doing to Boyer. And that, that 21, that caddy looks great. Yes, that front end is yeah. superb. Solid. Oh, jumped off the tire into the pillar. Oh. He's going to look to send it up, up for the younger boy here now. Oh, we got a whole back of a car, boys. We got yeah. the whole back of a car. Okay, 44 is pinning at the rear of the wheel. Yes, sir. Oh, Larry, back up. Boy, man. 44 is moved. Oh, yeah, he's, he's pushed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's back of the car is that? That's uh, Whiting's. Oh, is it? It is half, it is half the back. <laughs> A little bit of floor attached to that one. Yeah. Boy, I do. If I was, right now, if I was going to give Mad Dog in the seat, I think I would give it to Tom Russell. Tom Russell and that. White car from that's Reed. The, Reed. Yeah. Right now, that's who I'd give it to. 44 would be right there yeah. too. Tom Russell has really put on some big hits. Yeah, big hits. There goes Jesse doing his thing. Reed coming down here. Franny's out of 44. Keeping it in the middle so nobody can wind up. I think they might have just got a very front wheel, I'm not sure. Oh. That Tom Russell. He's definitely got a mad dog for sure. Oh, yeah. I don't think he likes that 03. And the five car keeps hanging in there too. He's throwing some shots. Oh yeah. There's oh, another good oh, one. That was a good now. one. He's got him good. That is twice yep. now that Sergeant has got Larry dead center in the door. Yep. Oh, there's he fired back with a front end shot on the 21. Yeah. What motor's Larry running? He's got a good He's run. He's running the old faithful 50 show 383. Steinbeck. Oh, just rocks the back knocked of that bumper, caddy. Knocked the bumper clean off. Yes, he did. Honestly, I think he might have just put himself there in the mad dog, too. <laughs> I think I would have hit Sergeant, though. <laughs> Woo! Oops. 
sorry if anybody heard that. That might not have helped either, though. He might have got hung up on Tom there. Oh, that'll help him off a little. Yeah, he's yep, there there free. He did some work to that back into that caddy, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice turn out there. Oh, when did Werner's car start moving again? Yeah, I just noticed that too. Well, the thing is, every time we stop the race to clear up something, your time restarts yeah. if you're not out. So. Reader's on it. On the window. Nice. Oh, they got Brittany's tire laid over. Oh, that was some good driving by Get him, Reader, get him. Oh, oh, what there's a part the of his fan. Yeah. Oh, somebody caught it in the crowd, too. Looks like Larry Steinbeck doing a little remodel job on that caddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, way up in there. Oh, it broke the K bar. Say nothing. He hit Larry twice in the door. Oh, he got it off the burn there. He's got a broken front tire. Take that shot, though. Yeah. Well, he, he didn't want Larry Reed to hit him because it's all time now. Reed's gonna get timed out. What's gonna happen? I can tell you, Gumby, the win over Reed means way more than uh, Reed. Reed broke his. There stand. it is. There it is. Larry's a winner. Yeah. I'm gonna go. That out was there. a good heat. I'm gonna go out there. All right. Have yeah. fun. Father, son, first and second there. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Larry, Larry won, throwing the helmet in the air. <laughs> I think the mad, if I was choosing Mad Dog though, I'd have to go with 21 bent, yeah. and I think I might have to go with Reed. Yeah, the, the 56, That's right. yeah. That's where I would go. Yeah, I, I seem to think that they, those two were both laying them down on everybody. 
Wow, yeah, that was there was some good hitting going on there. Yeah. And they broke stuff on these cars. <laughs> Sorry. How are you, Brother Boyer? That was a rough one. That oh, that was there was some blood in the air out they, there. Uh, they didn't give me much time to move. Yeah. You are you the one that's on the other side over there? Yeah. Oh, oh, the whole car's caved in, the bumpers ripped off. I you know, there was a lot of hitting. Done. Uh, there was a lot of hitting going on. That whole heat, oh. there was just some bloody murder going on out there. That was a big track for the, what was there, eight or nine cars? Yes. It, all night we have 12, 13, 14. All of a sudden we come to the Last this heavy, heats and, and all of a sudden only. there's nine. It's like, oh, that's not and good. It, it made for a lot of room. Yeah. There was a couple good head-ons. There was some car. Was, oh, man, there was some hard hitting. And if you really looked at that, heat was loaded with amazing drivers. And cars. Yes. Yeah, the Steinbecks are good drivers. I didn't know the guys there in the caddies, but then were well-built cars. Bent, the Bent Brothers. If you ever watch you, uh, fa um, the you, um, Facebook, they go a lot of, called the Bent Brothers. Okay. There. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and the uh, maybe, key is, is they were hitting square with them. Maybe they didn't like the Broncos. No, I, I didn't even recognize yours as the Broncos as normal. <laughs> no, I. they it, were hitting everybody. They were thumping everybody. Yeah, that was a hard, hard... There was some crazy there. There was. I mean, we're all up here going, I'm glad I'm in. I don't even want to be in one of those cars. <laughs> well, he came to check on me, make sure I was okay. I just, my elbow's a little hurt. You know, I smacked it on something. But other than that, I'm all right. How could it not get smacked around in there? <laughs> everybody was bouncing. Yeah. I, don't, I think everybody that was in that heat is going to be feeling really sore tomorrow. Yeah. Because everybody, I think everybody took at least one even, hard shot. Even making those hard hits hurt you. Oh, yeah. And you're hitting dead iron like you guys were. And then, I mean, those those things are so packed and rolled in and everything. It's like. You don't have a lot of give. No. <laughs> I do, I never want to drive That's in one of those heats. That's what you told me heats, before. <laughs> ever. I have zero interest in it. Every, if somebody gave me the nicest car and said, hey, you get to drive in the seat, I don't want to. I don't it's want not for me. Nope. Been there, done that. I've had the, the whoopings and the. But No. How long of a drive is it for you guys? Um, eight hours, 500 miles. Well, we appreciate you coming and putting on a show. How's, I don't know where your kid ended up. He uh, he was out there in the middle and uh, the steering, looks like he broke the steering box and he got stuck in the center there. So I was like, they sure filled the inside of that car. They did, up. it's full. Yeah, there's a couple, but yeah, there's some tough cars out there too. But when we were looking at it and saw this, we're like, Oh boy, this is a heat. Yeah. So, is there anybody fun, anybody out there you want to thank or any sponsors you want to thank? Uh, mostly my wife. I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with me for doing this because uh, it takes a lot of my time, and then she comes with me. And is she here on this trip? She is. All right. So, how is how long have you been married? Uh, oh God, now you're putting me on the spot. Oh. Since uh, I'm sorry for, four, but we were together ten years before that. Okay, so so we've been together thirty years. Yeah. 27, I think it was, we figured out the other day. All right. Well, that's, you know, she has put up with you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she has. When did you start? When was the first time you went? My first derby in 1995. Really? So. Sweet. Is that back in the old Greeley area? Yeah. yeah. It was the Greeley State Fair, you know. One of Greeley them. Stampede, 4th Greeley of July. Stampede, 4th of July. Oh, man, I remember years ago when we uh, Johnny started the Hot Rock in 4th. It was always like, oh, you want to see a good 4th of July, you got to go over to Greeley. Because back then it was 150 cars. Yeah, and it was just, at one time it was a two-day event. They yeah. 120 cars, and they ran it over two days. There so so there, cars. there for a while, I mean, Greeley was the show of shows in the West. Yes, it was. Because, I, I, you know, there wasn't a lot of, you know, we had some great shows, 60-car shows. But, I mean, when you're talking, it was probably them. And, you know, another show that was big back then was Rock Springs. You know, they used to have a two-day show with 150, you know, and so those were the two West, the shows you always heard about. It's like, oh, you got to go over and see Greeley, you know. and Greeley, back in the day with Greeley, they had so many cars and they ran so many heats. It was something just to make the main event. Yeah. I mean, you were you were doing really well if you left there saying, I made the main. I drove Greeley. It had to have been 
290, late 90s. I, I took a 67 Imperial out there, fully welded. I won, they, gave, they had a Mad Dog that year. It was, um, it was given by um, uh, Post, not Post and Mopar, but uh, what's the name? Uh, Brian, um, he came out and did it. And he's, after the heat, I made some hellacious hits. And he goes, <laughs> it's already awarded. You got it. It was crazy. But man, I one heat jumped to 67 Imperial, just yeah. slaughtered it. But back then I was like, I, I pulled into Greeley, never been there to watch it. And I'm like, pull, saw these cars. I was, I was like, oh, I am out matched and, and all day long here no no classes I mean, no different classes of the cars no compacts no light welds no nothing it was all just one class so all the cars there were nasty your competition and you nasty know? and nasty oh yeah i was like so. what is all this it was the first time i'd ever seen the wedged trunks <laughs> i had never i'm like what is this i had two bolts in my hood holding it plus the hood weld and they're like you got to pull those bolts i'm like well, look at those guys. <laughs> so now when people come and argue with me, I'm like, man, I got to laugh. Because right. I've done the same thing, you know. I was like, well, I was not a happy camper. <laughs> we all like to push them gray areas and have good excuses for it, you know. Yeah. So, like it. But. Yeah, 27 years. My wife and I, our anniversary was uh, a couple days ago, and we hit 10. And then we've been together eight years before that, so she's counting it at 18. So right. they never count just the 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 I'm locked Actually up. Actually married the, time. Yeah. It's like we've only been married 10. We've been together 18, and that counts because you were <laughs> bad the first eight. <laughs> I had to put up with you then, too. Yeah. So, uh, so, but, again, we appreciate you coming out, putting on a show, supporting us, and look forward to hanging out around the campfire tonight and chat and telling some derby yeah, lies. And I, I usually like to stay and do that. So, so. look forward to you. But, again, right. thank you. Appreciate your always class act. Thanks, Yummy. Appreciate you coming out. All right, coming to the final heat of the night. The final heat of the year. Of the year. Those of you who stuck it up for us, let's give it Oh, up. Mr. R. <laughs> What's going on? Wow. Yeah? I've been chasing it a long time. That was fun to watch. You a little sore? My neck's really bad. Oh, there was you got you got laid into a couple times and you did some laying. That Vic's hard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There were some great heats. Well, you put on a show and we appreciate you coming and giving the crowd. You know the crowd loved every minute of that heat. That was a heat. Um, those caddies that you built. Nasty. There's three more coming. Oh, there's three more coming. I built three more. Oh, well, you guys know how to build a heat. So before we get out here and these cars come in, on behalf of Gladiators of Steel, uh, what is a Gladiator to you? A guy that just goes out and never quits, He's a never slayer. gives up. He's a slayer. Puts on. On behalf of Gladiators of Steel, you won the Gladiators hat. Vanny Vitti Vici, you came, you saw, you conquered, you're the victor. You put on this, only these hats with this saying are only on driver's hats that earn it. Thank you. Well, sir, you earned it. Thank you, and Congre thanks to the crowd. Congratulations, Amen. and thank you for coming and putting on yeah. the show. The Bent Brothers, thanks, yeah. Oh, Bent Brothers, well, right. your name was talked about a lot. That We mentioned the Bent Brothers quite a bit. I do it just to, for the crowd. I build these cars and put my buddies in them, and that's what it's about. Well. We hope you're not sure. too sore, but thank you for doing what you did, and that is putting thank on you. a show and earning that hat. We'll see you next year. We will. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, guys. Okay, Heavy B, I'm just going to go through, and I'm going to read names because they've come in. I haven't seen numbers. Car 17, Brayden Luke from Heber, Utah. Car C2, Kalen Craymore out of Julesburg, Colorado. Car number 11, Chase Herp. From Blackfoot, Idaho, car 24, DJ Cameron from Uinta, Utah. Car number seven, Jared Bondage from Rock Springs, Wyoming. Car number two will not be out, Jeremy Walsh. His car died out in the pits. Car number 111, Josh Wallace from Blackfoot, Idaho. Car number 19, Mark Martins from Belvo, Idaho. 
Car number 66, Jex Rummel from Camas, Utah. There's 10, nine cars back in this heat. Well, I don't know if you heard when you were doing that interview, but apparently uh, Will Will's getting in uh, Larry's car in the 66. Is he? Yes, and is gonna run this, apparently. Okay, well, and Will Steinbeck, car number in the 66, red car coming out. Yeah, you got the round back. You got three caddies. Another, yeah, the caddies again. That round back wagon. Triple seven dumpsters. Oh, the Camerons are into a new business. We'll support them, triple seven dumpsters. That's awesome. The Bent Brothers, there's a bunch of Bent Brothers. Yes. There's three I'm, of them in this heat, I'm too. learning that, I'm learning that now. Cranmore in the C2 wasting no time. Whoa, whoa. Head bounced off yes. that, whoa. Headache, headache, headache. Oh, oh. Cranmore coming into Will Steinbeck. Oh, oh, there's this hit after hit after hit. Yeah, there's some definite action on the far end right here. Oh. Wow. Well, this is a good way to finish off the year. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, I don't see much of a chess match out here so far. It Not seems yet. It's, no, all, no. it's all <laughs> violence, yes. full on violence. And the problem is, is there's people are using up their cars right now, and there's not a lot to to, to differentiate yep. between the drivers. So it's like, who do you give it to? Nope. I think we have them all still going, still out here. Well, it looks like the four 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 has broke a stick, or the one one one. Oh, he's lost steering yes. already. Oh, nose him up right in front of us here. Wow. This guy. Right. Okay, we have to stand up now because <laughs> we've lost our views. Yeah, they're throwing straw now. Well, everybody. <laughs> Will Steinbeck in the 66 put the 777 right up here in front of us. Good. Oh. oh, that was probably one of the worst things that could have happened to him right there. Oh, that front end is not good on this this board. And will retain the favor on the 17. Oh, 
Somebody lost a tire. I, uh, yep, the round back lost the wheel there. Well, that was uh, kind of got all hooked in there. The, the wagon has a wheel off. That's not helping him in this situation. I don't even know who I give Mad Dog to <laughs> on that one. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of good ones right in front of us. I'm gonna let them choose. <laughs> will <laughs> made a couple of good yep. shots out there. Yep. I'm not trying to be oh, no. biased. One more hit. Will very easily Back could win a Mad right Dog. Right. Looks like that was a quick one. Yes, he was there's, quick. These three are still got their stick. Well, there's four, but three of them got their sticks up. Well, Will peeled that round back off. Looks like we got two moving. Okay. If you're going to knock each other off, you got to get aggressive because if you're in the line for a mad dog and you don't get aggressive and you don't finish it off aggressive, you can lose mad dog. Yep, very true. Because you know mad dog, a lot of it's what's the last thing that you see. Yep. That's yep. really what it is. It's, it's hard sometimes because those guys in the beginning Megan's definitely struggling with that one wheel. Oh, Will's broke a tie rod. Oh, that didn't help either. Good shot from C2. Yep. He definitely went funny on that end. Oh, now he blew the tire on the driver's side. Is Will going to sit on him? I mean, probably the less he touches him, the, the you know, the less of the chance the round back has of getting away. One more hit. One oh, is he saying bring it? Cranmore is waving him on, just waving it to him. Oh, and he does it! <laughs> Rolls him right up, gives him his wish. <laughs> And it's over. And it's over. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. Kalen Cranmore, Cranmore has definitely been rolled over and ran again before. So. Well, once we help you over, it's oh, over. Oh, okay. It's done here. Yep, gotcha. You're done. Okay. That's it. All right. Well, good ending. Good ending. <laughs> that end of the year right there. <laughs> Wow. Yes. All right, in third place, car number 19, Mark Martins from Bellevue, Idaho. Second place. <laughs> he's getting out of the car and he's hurting. He is hurting. Yeah, that he didn't like that last shot. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, everybody, on behalf of Gladiators of Steel that sponsored us at Full Contact Derby TV, thank you for the wonderful year. Thank you for joining us this yes, evening. thank you for having me. Thank, thank you, and Utah. thank you for all the support this summer. We had a great time. We'll look forward to seeing you next year. 
until next year. And we have Stern Dirt, Gladiators of Steel, and Full Contact Derby. We are out, and thank you. Thank you.